Yeah. 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 We can't, we can't ignore the ratings. I mean, this light skin thing is working for me and Derek. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Where do we start? Yo, 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 yo. What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to Let's Chop It Up. Please follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Please hit the bell, like, subscribe. And let us get to our count of 500. I forgot the count, guys. Are we, are we close to 500? We get the seven. How many more we need, my brother? Well, we need a little bit, not too much. Not too much. Well, let's go yeah. for let's go for a solid. We need six. We need six more people to get us to the solid 500 number. We truly appreciate you for going on this journey with us. We we want to show you some love when we get to that 500. Um. So, fellas, what's up, man? What's going on? How was your week? Let's talk about my man, Derek, man. You got this light shine on your face, brother. How's it been, brother? Well, it's all good, man. I enjoyed uh, my weekend. I had some um, some people came up. Uh, my wonderful sister's wonderful birthday party. Um, she's the type of person that parties for a whole month. You know what I mean? You know those types. You know what I mean? And it's my birthday month, you know? So um, she gets it in. And um, just had a good time, man, you know, with her. And I uh, bought some sticks right here, you know, my man Rod. Mm. You see that right there? That's Devil. The Fuentes. The Fuentes. Yeah. The Fuentes. You know? Tem the, the temptation. Devil. The temptation. <laughs> Derek, we supposed you know? to be sticking together. This light skin thing is supposed to hold together. Man. Yeah, now we're sticking together, bro. Who are doing, bro? Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, man. Wow. Huh? You got to see. Uh, That's what you did. You got to. You gotta turn it around. You had it the wrong there way. You go, there you yeah. go. There you go. God don't like ugly. See that? Yeah, man? I know. Can't look crazy. So, but no, man. <laughs> I had a good time, man. You know, and uh, I'm back with you fellas, man. So, you know, good to see you all, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah man. Ryan, right, how's your week, my brother? Uh, my week was good. Um, you know, didn't do much. Basically, um, I know you guys are gonna say something when I say this, but uh I started binge watching um the wire series. Oh, no. uh, last night, Bro, come on, man. Hey, man, right. that, no, man. no, I'm not finished. Oh, shit. the reason why is because my wife never saw the God way. damn it. Take a black card away. Send it back, yeah. Rod. I know, send it back. Send it back. Yeah, no, nah, I, I gotta keep it. I, I, I gotta keep it because I threw away the receipt, so I gotta keep it. Oh, what she you think so far? What she think? No, she, she likes it. She likes it, and um, yeah. you know, like it's hard for me watching it sitting to not say, Watch this. You know, yeah. but um, <laughs> it's it's um, it brings back a lot of memories for me. Mm. So I'm enjoying it. But, you know, for me to actually expose her to that, you know, a classic series, you know, it, it, it's, it's pretty cool, though. But, yeah, it's been long overdue. I should have gotten her to watch it a long time ago. Oh, but yeah. we're, we're doing it now, though. Yeah, it must, be, it must be nice to retire. Y'all can just watch the binge watch. Why? Yeah, that? yeah. There's a lot of things that we do. <laughs> That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Yeah. Hey, Sean, what's, what's up? up? How you feeling, girl? Right, Kevin, man. Man. Hey, hey, what's up, Simone? Yeah. Oh, Simone, what up, sis? How you feeling? Yeah. Hey, baby. Hey, no hey, what's man. up, sis? How you feeling, Queen? Hey, pretty lady. <laughs> oh, hey, ain't no Whoopi on the show now. We, we hey. a family already. <laughs> <laughs> I miss Paul. Oh, we miss yeah. Mike. Actually, I think yeah. they're having something for Mike, a tribute in Brooklyn. The bab hit me up later. On. I think I'm gonna send it to you. They have something for him in Brooklyn. Somebody sent it to me today. We're gonna have something for Michael the, uh, this weekend. I think it's all week from Wednesday to Saturday. I believe it is in Brooklyn. Mm. Yeah, this is like an art festival. You know, he was into the arts and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, Kelvin, man, how was your week, my brother? You know, I D, I got the uh, best news I could have all year. My nephew's touched down back in the United States, so he was back. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's keeping me up at night. So he's back safe at home. Um, he's not here. He's on base, um, you know, in New Mexico. But I'm just glad that he's, he's back. And I feel for those families who had, I think, those 13 uh, GIs who didn't make yeah. it. Back in. I just have a different perspective of it. So, you know, um, so thank God for that. I, I, I do. And um, thank God for you fellas and everything. But the week has been, uh, you know, transitioning with this. Uh, you know, we had the first day of fall the other day. And you can feel it. Like, yeah. You can tell it's coming. You can tell that the winds of change in the air. And everything like that. But one thing that will never change is the natives. The natives <laughs> are still, you know. So the license plate we had stolen, somebody been using it already, of course, you know, which you gotta give them credit. 
I feel bad if they took it and didn't use it. So at least that's going on. <laughs> like that. You know what I'm saying? But um, and I'm not gonna say who did it. You know what I'm saying? It could have been some, could have been a white person that just randomly came and bit down in front of the car in a black neighborhood. <laughs> you know, so other than that, other than that, everything, everything is good. <laughs> What's up with you, D? How you feeling? No, that, that was funny, man. I'm all right, man. I had knee surgery yesterday, man. My old uh, self got me. So I'm walking around with a cane. Um, taking a week off, so it's just, uh, D, it's you're just, not old because you no, I'm old age. Yeah, I know, but my my knees, my knees tell me shit is shit oh, okay. old. old. <laughs> They're feeling old. I, I, the rock can sleep twelve hours a day. I, if I got four or five hours, I said I was happy, man. Thirteen, thirteen hours. God, motherfucker got a baker's dozen. Of sleep. And guess what? <laughs> I, I'm going. For, I'm going for the record tomorrow night of fourteen hours. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's for that. <laughs> in a two hour nap. Yeah. I want to. I want to break the record for the well rested man. <laughs> I yeah, ain't yeah, yeah. Shit. I ain't bad at But no, it's, I, get, it's cool. I get plenty of rest. Yeah, yeah. word. Yo, I had some. I tell you, good rest was that damn. They shot that needle in my back last night, yesterday, and, and I was kid. This time is different. You remember they used to count down when you, the you wait, wait. Was, they they put a needle in your back. In my back. Well, you had you you had an epidural like giving a baby. Yeah, I was about to give birth. Wow, they smile in your face. <laughs> wow, <laughs> give me smile a shot, right? In your because face I, because I use uh, Lady Secret and I use women there. Let me show you. <laughs> oh, here we go. That's it. That's it. I use it for the for the for the, for the surgery. I had to get the women there. That just smell good too, man. I like so fragrant. Yo, let me tell you something about the anesthesiologist. <laughs> smooth chest too. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> see, that's the thing, right? Yeah, I tell no, the bumps yeah. I got on my chest from the damn they do that wax and I never do that shit again. <laughs> they say the anesthesiologist, that's like the biggest, you know, oh. you know, person that brings you back, takes you down. I had a dude one time, I had to have right shoulder surgery. Dude came to talk to me. You know they try to tell you something deep and in, 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 in just glide over it. It's like, yeah, so we're gonna give you a shot in your neck. I said, I said, excuse me. I said, I don't, I don't, I don't think I heard what you said. <laughs> you know, a shot, a shot in your neck. Yeah. Yeah, I'm baby. glad you're right, man. I'm glad you're yeah, here, man. Yeah, I'm telling you that anesthesiologist, man, that guy's a nice guy. That stuff is good stuff, man. Good shit. Good <laughs> stuff. That's some good stuff, man. I was mad they woke me up. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I was like, oh, it's comfortable. Cause the thing now, you did a countdown. The only thing I know, they had this guy named, the doctor in front of me, his name is Habibi, and he was in front of me. I'm like, why is this dude standing in front of me? I'm sitting on the edge of the table. I'm waiting for him to tell me to lay down like they usually do. Mm. So I was pinching the back, and the next thing I know, I was waking up in a uh, fucking recovery. I'm like, wow, what the fuck yeah. happened? <laughs> yeah, you you don't remember nothing. They when they gave me mine, the guy said, "Um, you're going to feel maybe a little bit burning." He says, and then basically that's going to be the end of it. Then as soon as I he shot it, I said, "I don't feel nothing." And then I said, "Oh, I feel it now." He said, "Okay, bye." And that was the last <laughs> thing I remember. No, I'm serious. That's what he said. He said, "Okay, bye." But we gotta give a shout out to Habibi. My yeah, man. I mean, yeah, maybe. But the, the anesthesiologist, uh, someone told me that they have, I'm sorry, told me that they have uh, bad looking shoes that are, they're very good anesthesiologists. Somebody at Duke <laughs> University in it. That motherfucker's shoes is horrible. <laughs> horrible. He, that motherfucker was the best. They, I, I didn't even, I didn't see that shit coming. He, like, he sucker punched me. Boom. That, I'm waking up. Right up. Right up. I, I didn't see it coming, man. You know, anything yeah. else in your mind from the hood, man, that's bothering you, man? Anything else? Triggering you right now, man. Ooh, me? Yeah, man. Me? Yeah, me and you. Yeah, just, just if you got a couple of hours. I mean, just, just, <laughs> I mean, just I love getting robbed all the time. It fireworks in the middle of the night, and even with his cold and loud music. I mean, but I love my community though. We making strides. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we as a people, man. That's hilarious. Hilarious. Yeah. Nah, that's good. That's all good. What? What? Um. We got a little, a little a shout outs tonight, man, to a couple of brothers that passed away over the, the last, man, it looked like 24 hours that we suffered from this. Uh, 24, maybe 48 hours. We had the death of uh, uh, Melvin Van Peoples. Yeah. yeah. Known for his work. I think it's one of his classic works, a sweet, sweet back, badass song, I believe, right. man. I, was, I think that's what, yeah, there it is. There it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, this is that's Jamie a right there. Brother, man. What's that? Brother, the father, people don't know, this is the father of Mario Van Peoples. Correct. Yeah. An Correct. actor and director Correct. and a writer. Yeah. So, um, that's I think what Mario Van Peoples uh directed New Jack City, right? Yeah, New Jack, New oh, Jack yeah. City. We had uh Posse, you know, all that stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that area, that area is right there. Yeah. 
Yeah. And sweet, sweet Bad song, that uh, Sweet Sweet Back, that was uh, actually the debut of Earth, Wind, and Fire, man. If you remember. Mm. Yeah, 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 that's right. And I think he's still owing money, too. So he, wow. <laughs> he passed away, he's still owing the money. Yeah, because they never got paid off that, off that soundtrack. Uh, well, you, you, you know what? You know what I like? I appreciate um, outside their just sheer talent. But what they did just to get into that industry is, is you know, it's not easy. At, I mean, the, at that time. At that time, yeah, and yeah. think about it, they're the bridge to Spike Lee. Remember the black exploitation mm. film yeah, for a yeah, while. Yeah, we had yeah. no black filmmakers for a while. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. they kind of gave birth to Spike Lee coming in 1989, mm -hmm. I believe, with mm -hmm. um do the right thing. Not do the right thing. I think no, no, gotta no. Have before that she's gotta have it was 88. She's, right, right, she's gotta have it, then yeah, do yeah. the right thing. You know what I'm saying? And so um, but he's always been just uh you, you know, so funny because they didn't have that great relationship with Hollywood. They weren't invited to Hollywood like no. that. Mm -hmm. so everything they did, you know, I just hope people understand and, and recognize the legacy oh, yeah. of, of these filmmakers. But, oh, yeah, but yeah. Uh, I always liked the Van Peebles family. Uh, excellent. And I met Mario once and, and totally uh, a, a wonderful brother. So um, rest in peace to this, this brother. 89 years. Absolutely. 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 Yeah. 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 I'm, I, I just got tickets for um, Earth, Wind & Fire, too, Devin. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a, that's to me. That's the baddest group, man. The yeah, only I'm, thing we I'm have looking forward to it. Age group that's comparable, I would say, is I love Make Condition. You know what I mean? I think that mm. they were the only thing that we had that was comparable to Earth, Wind, and Fire for our age group. You know, but they're not there. It's the Earth, Wind, and Fire. Let me say this. Let me say this, D. Derek, I love you. I just really do. I love you because Derek, Derek, because I thought I heard Derek mention. Mint condition. Yeah, well, hold on a minute. Well, hold on a minute. I know my wife said it was as good. I didn't say it was as good. Oh, I didn't say okay. It was as good. I just I thought, thought I heard you mention them in the same. Like there, there, you know, mint like, condition, yeah, mint condition and earth, wind, and fire shouldn't be in the same breath. You're right. You're right. You know what I'm saying? I love, so, I love the way Derek go for his. Derek just yeah, flow with it. Yeah. You know, I was, the thing is, I really was going to let. Let you slide on out, Derek. But Kelvin, I just didn't see mint condition coming. Yeah. I, I was like, because yeah. I was curious what we had comparable too. So I was yeah. like, oh. mint that's condition my man, is dope. I saw mint condition cards too. I saw them too, Derek. It's Let dope. me tell you, mint condition is yes, baby. That's right. Don't trip. Don't trip. <laughs> Derek, <laughs> I love, Derek got a good. I know one thing: mint condition and earth when uh, earth when and fire can't do a versus. No, you know what I like? Oh, what no. I like the fact is <laughs> Derek has such a great wife. She gonna wait to afterwards to be like, I need to talk to you. Come here, let me talk to you. Don't ever say that again. <laughs> Look at me when I talk to you. Look at me when I talk to you. Don't ever say that again. <laughs> and when we're in public, don't say you're a Jets fan. CD, <laughs> <laughs> we supposed to be rock dark skinned brothers. See how you <laughs> um, know what though? Um, uh, Earth Wind and Fire, what the, they made the white people wedding song of all time. September. Do you yeah. remember, remember every yeah. white wedding they play that shit there, boy? And you know it's yeah. crazy. The Jacksons, <laughs> the Jacksons used to use their horn section. The word? Yeah. yeah. Everybody used Earth Wind and Fire horns. Yeah. yeah. I'm 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 looking I'm looking yeah. very forward to going to the concert. Very yeah. forward. Yeah. yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Phoenix horns. Yeah. Bad horns in the business, man. Yeah, man. Bad horn section in the business. Then yeah. we had another we had another good brother we all love and did. We, we he played a big part of our lives and man, he made us laugh. Anthony AJ Johnson, oh, actor, yeah. comedian, died at the age of fifty-five years old. We yeah. know him for his best role as uh um Ezel Ezel in Friday. Yeah. And uh yeah, so that's that's our dear brother at the party very yeah. left us very early, man. Fifty five, man. That's like you know, we in that category. This dude, man, like we could have went, went to school with this dude. You know, yeah, yeah. way too young. Yeah, man. too young. Yeah, way people, young, brothers are dying way too young, man. We got to take better care of ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know, it's yeah. it's just sad. You know, very I, sad. I, I, they are trying to raise money for AJ to. Uh, yeah, for his funeral. For his funeral. It's a go for me out there. Yeah, he don't have enough money to bury himself, man. Ain't yeah, that, yeah, man. it's wow. it's kind. Of, that's very sad as well. Yeah, yeah. we got to take our own and you know. The thing is, that's what we talked about on the previous show. We, you know, you got to have your paperwork, your life insurance, right. wills, all in order. You know what I'm saying? Now, now, now on an unrelated note, you see that down there, right? Yeah, we yeah see. right. So, so, Make right. condition is a band of consummate professionals. That's the test of time. Yeah. 
They are you, you, right Derek, now. you said you had relatives that came to visit this week? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it said who they are, but it was, I listen, I, I ain't gonna lie. I saw them in condition concert maybe a few years back. They're phenomenal, bro. Oh, they're no, bad. no, they're good. They're but they're just, not everyone uh, in they no, They're correct. They're not everyone in fire, but they're good. They're good. You know. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, but that's what's up, man. Yeah. Cool. We got on the agenda tonight on the chopping block. Oh, shoot. What said is your friend? See, <laughs> yes. Shout out. What was hey, what was saying? What was saying? Please like and subscribe to Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know comments. who that is. That was Casper. <laughs> <laughs> make comments. We'll get back to you on that. Please, let's see if your your battle or everyone to fire chime in on that part, man. That was kind of dope, man. Um, first up on the chopping block tonight, man. Haiti protests and mass. A U.S. deportation and uh, migration of, of, of the country are in a crisis. So people don't know Haitians have been walking here, trying to come through New Mexico borders and Texas to try to get uh, 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 asylum here in the United States. They've been sent back. You know how they treat black and brown people. I know Jamie, he's going to be mad when I say this. Where's your girl Kamala Harris on that now? I just want to say something because black people always get treated differently. They left the Afghanistan's in. I'm telling you right now, inside, when my people's in, is in federal prison, they are, they, are, they are in Fort Dix. They are sitting up beds and cots and all that stuff for these people in Afghanistan. Where's the love for our brothers and sisters in Haiti? We know they've been to an earthquake. We know their president got murdered. We know they went to a hurricane. A few years ago, they had an earthquake. Where's the love? Where's the America that wants to be welcome arms, the Statue of Liberty, all that shit? Where is that at? So, Yo, they, they, they actually showed pictures of Border Patrol using lassos on them as well. Right. I forgot to say that. You're right. No, nah, that's what I do. I clean up after you, D. <laughs> right. Um but uh, I, I agree 100% with what D said. They let the Afghanistans in there. You know, they're selective on who they're going to let in here. And, you know, what country, if the country has something valuable they want, then they may consider certain things. But they're not they're not being fair about this, in my opinion. I don't, I don't, yeah, you let everybody else in, yeah, why can't they say? Oh, yeah. 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 That's the, yeah. And I don't, I don't really see the justification for it. I mean, I, I watched the video, the young lady talking about it, and she's saying, you know, there's nothing for us in our country, even if we had an education and we're just trying to come here to get something. She showed something like this thin, and she's like, this is what they gave us to sleep in. You know? No. I mean, yeah. You know? I no, mean, I mean, listen, you know, Haiti, Haiti, um, wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Haitians are not only getting sent back, they're getting whipped. Yeah, yeah. They're getting whipped. Question, why did they go all the way to Mexico and Florida closer? Well, you know, that they have to, you have to get in the way you get in. You know, yeah. um, if you're not being allowed into this into the country, you know, um, then you got to get into Mexico. You know, probably through yeah. coyotes and whatever. You know. Yeah. Also, so. Florida they're already on the lookout for that kind of that stuff to happen. Yeah. They have, they have, they have yeah. Some security around there, so yeah. Some of them they're coming through Central America and making that walk. You know, or going. That's, you know. That's, that's a long walk for some. Like you just for safety with children on your back and stuff yeah. like that. Like this country always like like I'm not gonna get to the whole history about the whole word. Uh, Afghanistan will have the, being the descendants of Aryans. I'm not going into all that kind of stuff like that on the show. However, but they let we let Russians in here because I was working in the airports. We let Russians in here, gave them like twenty five thousand small yeah. place to live and all those kind of low interest loans and shit like that to get started. So it's always it's just something about they, that whole narrative of saying shit old country. Really, they, that's what they call it. They never, and, they, and what they, what have been done to Haitians? They playing back reparations to the to, to France. One of the United States had to pay uh, had to pay back reparations to England. Oh man, what 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 shit we did, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's just yeah. funny of you. It's a good point, Derek. I mean, good point, D. I mean, I I don't, I don't see any way around it. It's just a, a blatant miscarriage of justice. I mean, it's just you know, in in, in to Rodney's point, where's the humanity at? You know, mm -hmm. where's where the empathy at? You know, what yeah. I mean? on on just a humanitarian level. You know? Yeah, it's, yeah. You know, what's in it for them? I highly doubt that any white immigrants would treat you. Treat, no, of course, treat you're you're worse, man. Word I mean, you keep it a hundred, right? Word you know, up. we already know what it is. You know, um, yeah. Okay, my daughter's homemade sister just made it uh, to New York from Haiti. Wow. She wow. She walked for two months. Wow. Yeah, they let her in because she's pregnant. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, I'm a, these, these men better figure out how to get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's, it's sad, don't start, man. don't start, because you know, and they can't a little them, they got all <laughs> man, <trying. laughs> yeah. You know, it's it's really sad, man. No, they, they can't, they can't. There's nothing for them in Haiti, man. Right now, man, Haiti right. is is closed, man, for business right now. They gotta, they got so much they have to handle. 
You know, I mean, it was already a tenuous, you know, it was just already a, a, a kind of a shaky place before the before the um, before the hurricane. I mean, before the, before the earthquake, you know. So, yeah. and what are they sending them back to? You, you, yeah, they ain't got nothing there. There's nothing. You know, there. how many Afghanistan they sent over here? That compared to how many Haitians over here? And then the other thing is, hasn't the Dominican Republic always rejected them as well? So it's like, yeah. you know, another subject. this yes, group yes. has they, never they just, been, you know, you uh, think, man, it's, they, it's like this group is blacklisted. Yeah, they are. Yeah. I mean, it was because they, because they, Haiti, we just been going to the history lesson about so that. They fought they, and won. Yeah, yeah, they, they, that's what it comes down to, man. And, and, and if you ever, if anybody get a chance, look at black, um, blacks without, not blacks without borders. Oh, God, man. It's skip, it's skip. I can't think of the guy's name. I'm soon I get it. But it's about talking about the history of Dominican Republic, how they uh, was with the white Europeans and stuff like that. So they yeah, both yeah. recognized with the white European. Yeah. So, oh, black. Yeah, that's that, Jamie. That's right. Black, black, right in blacks, blacks in America. That's right. But yep. Yeah, by Henry. Right. Eighty-five thousand Afghans. Is that how many they let in? Eighty-five thousand. Yeah. Good lord. They could have. That's a lot, man. Put yeah. the picture of football stadium. That's all I tell people. Yeah. No, they could have let they, <laughs> they could have let yeah Haiti is more than ninety percent black people racism is at least a sizable part of the reason why they were sent, being sent home sent back home yeah I mean you can't they're not, they're not letting the country they don't want the country to get darker no heck no mm -mm. Yeah. and they want to make all that good black rice goddamn I hate the <laughs> white rice come out of Carolina rice man bring let the Haitians in make that black rice man and get the with that fried goat too yeah man you know some John John some uh no that stuff. Uh okay, North Carolina judge. North Carolina judge strikes down state voter ID law. Gentlemen, any thoughts on that, man? As well as he should have. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. you know, yeah. this another this and we talk about this before. This another ploy to keep black people from voting. Yeah, you know? just playing the hits, playing the class. Yeah. There you go. Just uh, what do you say? Staying on code, right? Yeah, that's it. On code. That's yeah. It. The thing is the Republicans, what? They say we ain't trying to lose no more elections because of black people voting. We ain't trying. We're not gonna let that happen again. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna, you know, what we're gonna do? We're gonna stack the deck. But it didn't work out this time. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. No, it's good to know. You know, everybody's down there is, is 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 you know, staying on cold and you know, staying on point. You know, and and uh, watching out for that you know targeted systemic racism that they got going on down there. You know? That's why I hate when people don't vote. I hate when people say it don't matter, it don't count. No, I just hate that. Vote it, it, if it didn't matter and it didn't count, they wouldn't make efforts to stop us That's from voting. That's my point. That is the point. point. Absolutely. That's what I'm Absolutely. saying. Like, but to me, if you can't go vote, but you can wait online at midnight for some Jordans or something like that, your priorities or, are I mean, or wait, it, wait in line at Louis Vuitton right. or wait in line at the club. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Um, it, it, it's just that the only thing I have to, have to say is like we have to learn also now with the power of voting, we got to learn to vote in blocks and get something in return for our vote, right. yeah. not just vote. You know what I mean? You got we basically got to understand politics and be able to strike the deals that we need done to help us. Yeah. You know, and that's what we got to get on court with. You know, so you got to be an educated voter. Yes, yes, correct. I want more educated voters. I want people that are understanding politics, understanding how to vote in block, understand how to vote for your local politicians as well, because that gets a lot done in your neighborhood. You yeah. know, so. But you also have that to learn. remember that you also have to remember that we as people, we also have to get it in our heads that okay, so voting is the first line of defense. You know what I mean? But it's not that it's we have a tendency to vote. Hey, we got our person in, and then we sit back and we chill for. The rest of the term of whatever it is, if and you wait, we and you wait for them to give you something. Right, we yeah. have to remember yeah. that we have to support the people that we get in, and we have to. We now got them in. We have to push our agenda, and that has to be an ongoing uh, thing, an ongoing action, something that we have political action that has to continue, has to continue all the time, man. You know, it's not something that we just sit back and do every four years or two years or six years, whatever it is. You know. Yeah, we got a challenge, and it sounds like a time for us to get my man Karan Aline back on. And he's gonna have some upcoming news for us here in our local elections. Like I just said, I'm gonna tell you about that now in the about a week from now. I'll tell you from a week from now about that. What's going on with that? Yeah. Um, also, with the correction, the show I was talking about was called Blacks in Latin America. It was a PBS special. Check it out. I'll tell you about blacks in Mexico. I was telling Rod how he looked like he could be one of um, Mexican uh, statues back in the day. Um, <laughs> and uh, Colombia is all the stuff. You gotta check it out, man. Check it out. The history of Black in Latin America. Uh, okay. With that said, 
FDA vaccine advisor votes to recommend booster doses of COVID-19 vaccine in people 65 and older and those at high risk. Any thoughts, gentlemen, on this latest news that we heard this week? I don't have a problem with a recommendation. Mm -hmm. I just have a problem with a mandate. You know, that's 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 my issue. You can recommend all you want. You know what I mean? Recommend. Let's have the conversation. You know, put the information out there and let a person make their own choice. When you start mandating stuff, that's when I start to have a real issue. You know, Fair that's point. Yeah. I, okay, I agree. Only, with that. only only argument with that is I give that we always have mandates for a lot of things. Every one of our kids has to go to school that get for mandated to get vaccinated for college and all that stuff. That's the only thing I have when, when I when I that. Yeah, but you, but we also but the things that we mandate for them, we have a lot more um we have a data. lot more research. A lot more data. data and research on those yeah. older vaccines. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But also with that said, there is data and research of the new vaccines where there was been research for a while with just more money and funding behind it. That's the only thing I can say with that. With the technology that you have, like you know, people say the, the phones, everything has more technology, so that's why you get the data and stuff is produced faster nowadays. It's not like mm -hmm. back in the day when things were slower and you didn't have the technology and information. And now this is the money store that we had globally, everybody working on this one accord. There's so yeah, much well, money going at this. The, the thing is, they were about to mandate this booster for everybody, and then now all of a sudden it's changed. No, but they had so, to pass it. They had to pass. They can't say yeah, they had to, they had I understand they were trying to get it approved, but then they mm -hmm. said, no, everybody don't have to take it, just 65 and older. Mm -hmm. And if you have um, perceived conditions or, or your immune system is weak or whatever. But before that, they Pfizer was trying to get that in everybody. Well, so like I said, we we back to the money grab again. Not to mention the fact we keep getting uh, what I feel is um well we have a whole conversation, but I'm not there. We have what I feel is you know um conflicting information. You know what I mean? So from the beginning, so you have a thing where if it was bad information that was given in the beginning or incomplete information, you got to deal with that. Now you have to you know what I mean? That's you know there's going to be a, a period of time where you know you got to get people on board and people like myself are going to say, but wait a minute, I remember when you said this. You know what right. I mean? And now you're right. saying something different. Well, we found, you know, me was so don't don't make it, you know, you know, now it's something else. It's like, you know, we gotta, we gotta no, no, no. I got and, and Rashawn, Rashawn is saying because, uh, yes, yes, yeah, SARS vaccine has been developed for years. They just now they just tweak for COVID. Okay, is that it? Is that what and, it is? And COVID and COVID's part of SARS vaccine. If you look at the protein, right. the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so yes. it's it's been doing they've been doing this for a while. So it's not like it's something new. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, would you feel the same way if the symptoms of COVID-19 were bleeding out of the eyes and rear and lesions on the face? Mm. The, the symptoms are not the issue. No, no. I, I it would be no, 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 no. I think if, if they were saying if you saw that, would you change your mind? If you saw it like I was. We're not going to do, 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 do what ifs. We're not going to do what ifs. We're not going to live off what ifs. Yeah, you, no, you, people you are know. dying. Like, I don't really get it. Like, people, we know that people are dying from COVID. We know that. Yeah. I just, I'm just not convinced that this vaccine is working. You know what I mean? Or I'm just not 100 percent convinced that what you yeah. or understand what it is that you're putting in it that it's not going to harm me. I you know what? I, in my best in my best case scenario, I would be happy if it did nothing. I'm serious. I'd be happy if it if it did absolutely nothing. Do we do nothing. we believe that the average person that took the vaccine in the beginning, they did they believe that they or they knew that they could still get it and still spread it? The most people that took it, do they believe did they when they took it? Believe that they can still get it and spread it. That's a good question. That's, yeah. I'm not and the sure, answer I'm, most I'm, people I'm, are going to say they, know. they know. They did right. not know they, they can still get it and spread it. Right. So, but then the narrative changed, like it always does. You know what I'm saying? Because I know I talked to people. I know I talked to a couple of people, and I know I heard out their mouth. They said I was under the impression that I was not going to be able to get COVID once oh, I took you that, the vaccine. And the PSAs, they literally told you that. Yeah, but like, I think, I think but, but, okay. With, and the thing is, if this country doesn't have the history that it had, then people would be more trusting of the vaccine. That's that is true. But with that said, and the data is showing that people that is the numbers of people dying that's in the ICU. I was in the hospital yesterday and that's where the I took where well, my son the nurses said they're starting to consider people that that unvaccinated people that's in the hospital taking up the ICU they're gonna stop. There's no more data shows that more people in the ICUs and I'll send you guys privately whatever they're showing the guy with the big even Rizal Islam was on a debate showing people that more of these people are in the hospitals with the data that are dying. The, that's vaccine. I know more people alive. Yeah. I know more people dead that had COVID than I know people died from vaccine. Okay. And then let's look at these people. And like I said, I'm not downplaying deaths. Let's look at some of these people's um conditions. Is is obesity there? Is over 65 no, it's there? Not, no, it's not, no, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's not. No, 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 I mean, no that, you, that's not you, playing you, a role. Let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. My Tim that's on there. I hope Tim chimes in tonight. His son has a friend that's nine years old. 
He's in the ICU right now. Nine. Mm. So it's like, so you can't say that is the yeah, the majority of people, yes, that they have these underlying conditions. They'll be so then I can't say it. Uh huh. No, I can't, you can't say, say you can't say everybody, but most no, of people. No, I didn't say everybody. Yeah, I said, ahead. are these are those are some of the contributing factors to some of the people that are dying. And you said they can't say it for every. I'm not saying it for everybody. Mm -hmm. I'm saying a huge portion, and the numbers do show that most of the people that died from it were over 65, unhealthy, yes. and obese, and they had underlying conditions. Well, what, what I'm saying now with the new Delta variant, right now, the data showing is not just them. It's a lot of people, younger people, are getting this too. That's the problem. That's what they're showing now. Under 50, 35. We know that you can get it, D. You know no, that you saying, get it. But the, the fact you. is, no matter how you look at it with the numbers, millions of people that have had it did not die. Did you not know. die. Wait till you start know, hearing about but, all but, the people who took the vaccine and are still dying from things. You, you know what I mean? Still dying from COVID. You know, just waiting for those it's, numbers. It's, 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 when those numbers coming out, I'll be very shocked that it'll be high, high as people that died without having the vaccine. I'll, I'll bet money on that one. And then you could say, all right, well, you know what? I'll, be, I'll, I'll bet money on that one. And, 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 and here's the thing, and I, and I hope you're right. And I hope you're right. Yeah. Yeah, let's yeah. move on to the next topic, Joe. I'm sorry about We don't that. want to bet on people dying. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not betting on people dying, but I bet you that I'm not betting on people bet on dying. Sure. I yeah, bet it's that it would be more yeah. successful than what you would call it, than people think. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I will say. <laughs> yeah, these don't argue with flies. Yeah, to convince Yo, the convince you. The wives better. on this show are gangster. <laughs> you know that. You already know that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lost, my, lost my thing. Oh, shoot. Okay, here we go. Texas woman attacks hostess at a popular NYC restaurant after she asked for COVID, was asked for COVID 19 vaccine status. Jamie, can you have a video for us? This is exclusive cell phone video of Thursday's attack outside Carmine's restaurant on the Upper West Side. Watch as the hostess stand is nearly tipped over. Tempers flare. At one point, a waiter helps carry someone away from the scene. Oh, wow. That was bad. We showed the wild brawl to customers. They are in utter disbelief, especially since the restaurant says it all started when the 22-year-old hostess simply asked a group from Texas to show proof of a COVID vaccination to dine inside, part of the city's executive order that went into effect this week. Law enforcement sources say the hostess was then repeatedly punched in the face and body and sent to the hospital. First of all, there was a lot of women going around the outside, first of all. Yeah. <laughs> Secondly, I, go ahead, Rob. No, nah, I just don't think people should be fighting to, to get into a restaurant to spend their money. If you, they don't want to let you in, then don't go in there. Now, I'm going to tell you this, right? I worked in the city, and I used to work for a company that serviced restaurants. The average restaurant in Manhattan is a struggling business, struggling business. They, they want to enforce it. That's fine. Don't let people in. People don't spend their money. And then guess what? They're going to be financially hurt. And let's see if the city helps them out. My thing besides that is I, I don't want to even put people at risk that, uh, 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 you know. Is that what happened, Sean? I didn't hear that. Wow. Did yeah, that's what it said. Oh, yeah, oh, allegedly, oh, that's what they, they claim. They're trying to get a claim against a, the lady that hosts this and saying that the video, they saying they got video from Carmine saying they had their own video saying that this happened so i don't we don't know what was said in that but if it was just about the vaccine thing i don't think it should the people at the door it's going to be kind of hard it's going to be going to become vaccine police and that's going to be a lot of incidents a lot of people are going to be challenged they didn't sign up to be police officers or security correct. guards correct you know it made, if yeah, they're putting it bad they're putting it in the bad it was yeah, a bad this, situation the, the thing is it's like me and my wife had this conversation and we know what my me and my wife's background is you can't put untrained people in those type of situations to enforce things. You can't give people that are like not used to having that power or authority to implement some sort of rule that somebody else said. You know, the bottom line is if you don't, you know, you can't you can't push that far till somebody gets into a fight with you. That's just, that's, just, that's crazy. You're not in a position to handle something like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I agree 100% like that. You can't have the hostess being the vaccine police. You can't do that. What's it say? What, what it say? Would it be safe to say that anti-vaxxers are more confident catching COVID-19 and rolling the dice in the long-term effects versus getting a vaccine and doing the same? You know what? Let me tell you something. I'm not an anti-vaxxer. I can say that. I'm not we're an anti-vaxxer. Anti we're anti-this. Anti, I'm an anti-right-nower. 
Yeah. All right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, I have not been convinced. If you want to put something in my arm and in my body, you're going to need to convince me. And I don't feel safe. I feel less safe with it inside of me. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I may not catch the I may catch it COVID. I may not. I may die from it. I may not. But what you know, but like again, I took the vaccine. But it was a business decision because I knew what would happen if I didn't take it, which would mean I'd be ostracized and I'll be, you know, be a bunch of, I have a bunch of, uh, you know. But but I mean, the, the other thing is this. Okay, we're not talking about the lunch counter in the '60s or something like that. There's got to be some civility. I'm with. Rodney. Oh no, let yeah. no. Please understand. All right, this is a little controversial. If you're looking at it and paying attention, that's kind of sort of where we headed with it. No, it's no, 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 no. Right. But Derek, right what I'm saying is this. At the end of the day, there is no scenario with me being grown where business has asked me not to come in or whatever the case is where I'm going to be out there as a grown man sitting there fighting somebody behind the desk. It's just, it's not, I, I just don't, we're not in the, the, the junior high school cafeteria. This is <laughs> not, you know, this is not the, the, the March on Washington. At the end of the day, there's a mandate from the city saying you can't come unless you produce that card. If I don't have it, like Rodney said, I'm just not going to patronize the place if I didn't that's have it. it. Yeah, that's yeah. It. But I don't, I'm not going to let, in other words, there's something wrong with that. Now, I got to admit, do I think a, a white hostess sat there and looked at that four or five black women and called them monkeys and stuff like that? I find it hard to believe at this moment without the person kicked in and get stomped out. So I don't know that that happened. Oftentimes, the narrative changes with the people get arrested. Right. Then, you, know, you know what I'm saying? And stuff like that. Well, all I'll say is this. What we do know is there should be no scenario unless under attack. There's six or seven grown people out there tearing down Carmine's restaurant because they couldn't go in. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like that's, I that's said, they should have they walked away. If they, they wasn't going to let them in, they should I think they, I think they let in. two of them in, then somebody else in the party didn't have the car, from what I believe. I think they were sitting down in there. Then they all should have left. Then they should have yeah, yeah, we, we, we all. It's like the four of us. If we couldn't all get in the what, corner social? Do you yeah. think that the three of you just gonna go in and I wait outside? No, I would those, expect that we all want to leave. Right. Or, or, those, or those ugly ass women would have picked us up and made sure we got in corner social. Some ugly women <laughs> say, get your ass in here. We're gonna beat the bodyguard up and <laughs> listen. Listen, I'm gonna yeah. crack a barrel if they protest. I'm gonna <laughs> they I like Carmine's. Carmine's got family style. I'm gonna eat that shit. D, if you yeah. go back to crack a barrel, D, your whole legacy is shot. It's, just, <laughs> it's, it's too late. <laughs> I was sold out. It didn't be sitting there with a dashiki on during Black History Month. That's, <laughs> <laughs> That's your good as a motherfucker. I said, yeah. I'll be, I could be all four of us for $25. Mm. <laughs> right, Rod? Am I lying? Don't pull me into this. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that. Shit. No, don't put me into this. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, speaking of some cracker shit, uh, Alabama records more deaths than births in 2016. God, segue is that. <laughs> <laughs> Alabama records more deaths, deaths than births in 2020, marking a first in state's history. So it looks like Alabama is recording more. They're they not fucking down there. I guess they, uh, they, got, they fucked all their cousins. They ain't got no more cousins to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> And the virus is tearing their asses up down there. They want to lead us. Okay, yeah, you got your first one. Oh, come on, Jay. Man, you let you ride for a minute, man. Yeah, come on, man. Come on, man. You, let me rock out. Yo, Jamie's getting slow. You, he got, you got to pull that trigger quicker, Jamie. Jamie's some bullshit, man. Oh, man. Anyway, well, we, man. We, 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 I mean, it's, but childbirth is down. We had, a, we, we had a segment on this show about childbirth being down throughout the United States. So, you know, that I'm does most crackheads. Crackheads having babies. Yeah, but um, the thing is, I want to know the age of the people that's in Alabama. What's the majority of the age of people in Alabama? I want to know that too. Yeah, because like I say, like I, COVID, I see COVID things is different. Impacted. COVID is no, and the thing is, and also it's in a state that's anti-vax, anti-mask. Anti you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, correct. So the thing is, like, you gotta pay attention to when you read stuff with media, how they leave certain things out. You're not talking about the age, the average age of people down in Alabama. You're not talking about that it's a state that's anti-vax, anti-mask, you know what I'm saying? And you got to realize too that we, like I said, we talked about this, childbirth is down throughout the United States as well. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of factors you got to bring in there before you can just openly just say something like that. But I think also a lot of people, they, number one, I'm not sure if Jamie could Pull it up at the death rate that's going on there. 
since the pandemic, with the, that state's one of the leading states in the I know the death rate. I know the death death rate there. Uh, the death rate is sixty four thousand, and childbirth last that that same year was fifty seven thousand. Mm. So, that's, uh, mm -hmm. well, I'm 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 not objective when it comes to Alabama, so it'd be better. Yeah. If I don't get this scroll. I'll, I'll just say very interesting, very interesting. Yeah. Fuck Alabama. They almost got arrested down there, man. Fuck Alabama. I don't, I don't like like I don't like Alabama A and M. I don't like none of that shit. No, I love Alabama and M. You know, historical black college out there. Me and Jamie had went out there, did a little show down there, long, long time ago, long time ago. I ain't gonna talk about that. That's back. <laughs> you gonna do fight the power in Alabama? <laughs> <laughs> I fuck, fuck Tuskegee, not the university, but the town. That, that's just a piece of whole shit town, man. Anyhow, <laughs> Mo, what's the name? Mo Fanny of Love and Hip Hop, Atlanta, sentenced to 17 years in prison for misuse of PPP loan. This brother's out here buying Rolls Royces. He spent eighty five dollars on jewelry. I had to look at this shit. That was this dude up, man. Forty k on uh, past due child support. At least he took care of the kids. <laughs> he didn't take care of them. He took care of them with some stolen money. <laughs> That's what he did. The fact that he was forty thousand past due. Huh? Yeah, yeah, that's another story. He right? got away from you a little bit. I mean, I don't know. Y'all motherfuckers I'm gonna, grown I'm gonna, now. I'm gonna slide the box. I'm gonna get the brother bitter for that. But y'all motherfuckers catch on every goddamn thing, man. Yeah, then, yeah, yeah. Then, you know what the bullshit is? This motherfucker two hundred some thousand of dollars and try to flip it with some more fucking scam shit. He got three million dollars and change. Well. I don't think they make a lot of money on Love and Hip Hop, right? No, I don't think so. I don't think they. they I think it's, it's it's an exposure make, thing, right? Yeah, they might make like six. They might make a hundred thousand, maybe. Yeah, I th I didn't even think it was that much. I mean, as I'm saying, maybe I said maybe. But well, um, <laughs> the thing is, we are. I'm I'm pretty sure, and me and D have talked about this before on the phone that there's going to be a lot of people that's going to be going to jail for those illegal PPP loans, and a lot of people are scamming. And I wouldn't recommend you doing it because. It's like a paper trail. How is it not going to come back to you? It's I so easy to find. $3 million. Dollars. Yeah. Any flaws? When you, all right. You, what, let me see what the Rolls Royce. You paid 100, $136 for a lease Rolls Royce. Oh, wow. $36 for that. What up, Jam? I mean, what up, <laughs> Tiger? What up, Sam? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like looking at that kind of stuff, man. I was like, yo, he, he put $50,000. Probably took it to the strip club. I'm like, dude, and he got 17 and a half years. And that was when he corroborated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so he's 30, 38 years old. So you're gonna wave your forties, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, first of all, I think I'll be disingenuous if I didn't take this moment to say we never gonna get <laughs> into it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I mean it's just it, it really it wanting all of that, not out of necessity, just to sit there trying to floss. It's just a, it's just a bad look. And they're not playing, like Rodney said, they're not playing with this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Usually things are not free, and that's one of them, and they're not trying to hear it. No, yeah, you yeah. had to know that was coming, man. But, but you know, he could have he he got away with it if he would have just kept on a look. Because he was he said it was for his trucking business, right? Out of bought a whole fleet of trucks, put motherfuckers on payroll, mm -hmm. and some of that he could have he cut three three point seven million dollars. You know, everybody he was in the hood, and then what it is, maybe that's public record. So people were looking at it and say, Yo, this motherfucker got three seven million, give me some money, or shut the uh, you know, and he's probably like, Fuck you. If I had stitched on well, if you're right, D, if he had a probably aimed it towards like a business and something legitimate, then he would have probably been it, not that they still wouldn't have came after him, but it probably would have been easier for him to fight it, saying right. that he actually built a business. But you did it for flossing and to try to maintain this image that you right. want to portray. You know what I'm saying? It, it's just, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, a lot of legitimate small businesses couldn't get those loans. Couldn't get it, correct. That's correct. the part that's psycho. Right. Needed, and, and the dudes that was get, doing all this thing, like they got right through, like it was nothing. Well, because they forged paperwork, that's why. They forged paperwork. The, okay, I'm, I'm not going to say any names, but it was small businesses that I knew that the reason they couldn't get the PP loan is because their accounts and stuff weren't lined up properly with their bank accounts and the paperwork and they still had a legitimate business but just because they didn't you know have things organized properly they couldn't get the ppp loan and then these other guys you had accountants out there that were basically forging paperwork for businesses that didn't exist and that's that's what they were doing yeah i know a really rich guy really really rich guy personally and he wound up getting the loan but he he has a business, but he really didn't need it. But he's like Brian said, his accountant you know to make that shit work. And he go make it and, work. And he's good. So yeah. Yeah, 17 so, I mean, years. Man, let me tell you something. I know somebody murdered somebody and did 16. 
I'm talking about, it, I mean, 17 years. And you don't fuck with government money, man. I'm telling you, they don't care. You better have it right every time. You know, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. that's what it is. They go, they're going to, I'm telling you, there's going to be, some, but there's been a lot of rest already for people that have done this, this guy scamming and going to the jeweler and, and spending the money. It's, it's crazy. It's just insane. Yeah. And, and they giving out football numbers. They giving out football numbers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, just don't go, like, they always said that, like, you always got to be on the low and humble. Just don't, don't, just keep it on the low. You know, don't shine, don't flash. Don't tell nobody he got that $3 million. He could have just chilled out. No one would have knew. And he could have bubbled on the low. He could have did everything. But, you know, he got it. Like Ronnie said, you said it best. He's on TV. He got to flash his image. Correct. He's, 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 driving, around the high, he's driving around the Honda Accord. Everybody's going to question, yo, why are you driving Honda Accord? You on Correct. TV every week. Correct. You on Honda Correct. Accord. So, you know. A new challenge on TikTok. That's why, I, D, how many times we said they could keep the fame. We just want the fortune. You know what I'm saying? But the, the fame, you have to live up to a certain this day and time. People have to live up to an image that they they really can't afford. Facts. Word up. Facts. Big time facts on that shit, man. So, <laughs> <laughs> what to say? Your niggas don't do low. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, word up, Shabbat. Word up. Like, yo, just if you got to come up, just, just keep it at the low, man. Like, damn, man. Like, why you got to show up to everybody got it? Bubble five years from now when the shit is forgiven. Yeah, right? You know what I, I mean? I was, listen, I was, I, was, I was convinced that it was ever going to be forgiven. That's how I didn't fool with it myself, man. I'm like, man, you can't tell me, oh, it's like free money. I'm like, ain't no such thing as free money, man. Just no, if you were legit, you don't have to pay it back. If you're legit, yeah, you don't have to yeah, pay it back. Yeah, you know, you're, and you were only you was only going to be obligated to pay back 10 percent of it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so that would have been, what, I don't know, do my math, Rod, three hundred seventy thousand dollars. Oh, for for the millions that he got? Yeah, if he if yeah, he yeah. if he just stayed on the quiet, I think you had to pay back 10 percent of that, whatever that was, a 10 or 20. So, if even if it was 20 percent. You just put that to the side, did everything mm -hmm. you had to do, and you'd have been okay. Mm -hmm. The natives. If you did it well, legitimately. Yeah. Speaking of natives, right? What would you do if somebody broke into your house? Mm -hmm. I want you know, like you know, what would you hold on to this? I want you to what would you what would you, what would you do? And then before, then Tammy, I want you to play that that video. Yo, yo, first of Let all, you had a little arm like chicken wing. I just want everybody to know. Jamie, play it back one more time, Jamie. Look at his arm. Look at his arm. He might be chicken wing little brother. Play, play, play it back, dude. <laughs> he broke that wrist. He broke that wrist. I mean, oh, he's let me tell you something. He's who, who needs ADT and Slowmans when you got homeboy right there? You know what I'm saying? You better, get, you better get some handicaps respect. That's, that's my right. Oh, that's right. So my man with a little arm. He said, "Fuck and that." It's, and it's probably it's probably somebody live on his block trying to break into his Never house. be yeah. the same. And then what he yeah. say after that? He probably shattered his hand. His hand oh, is yeah. probably yeah. shattered. Yeah. 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 Dust, bro. Yeah. Dust. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember the first time I thought it. I thought it was a machete. I didn't know it was a baseball bat. I thought it was a machete. Yeah, yeah. 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 he'd have been his right to take that whole hand, man. With oh, that yeah. hand, you know, yeah. you know, yeah. you know, you know he got yeah. all the strippers in his one hand because the other one's just dangling. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and you do realize that he's not going to do a day in jail for that because he's defending his his property. You, burglary is a violent felony. You can defend your property <laughs> with somebody trying to break in. Oh, sorry, Simone. We should have given oh, a warning. We should have given a warning. I'm sorry, Simone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah you know, that's right. That's right. You get it how you get it on this show, man. Uh, <laughs> listen, I, I felt this pain, but I'm glad he got that shit, man. I'm Yo, that's, that's, that's what they call a teachable moment. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's the hood home security. Word up. Word up. God don't like ugly. Ain't too fond of pretty. That's yeah. right. Oh, up. man. Yeah, I wish we could bring. I wish we could bring him on the show and interview him, and just to ask him what was he thinking when he smashed that guy's hand. No, I want the dude that Reese do here to come on the show. That's no, all. He, he can't, he's no condition to come on. Here. Oh my god! That's an advertisement for a short bat. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. what you need to tell him. A short bat, man. Yeah, oh, man. <laughs> he, he's somewhere in surgery getting sixty pins put in his arm. Yeah. Man. Man. Oh my god! I don't. I, I would be caught him though. I really did. Hope he. 
like somebody else going with a broken arm. You now you know you're in the hood. Somebody got a broken left arm because that was his left hand. He's like, I, that's that motherfucker right there. <laughs> well, I don't think I don't think he would be hard to find. He would be at the nearest hospital. <laughs> <laughs> he'd be at the nearest hospital so all you gotta do is tell the police guarantee you he's at the hospital and, and what do you and when people ask relatives what's right, happening, right, so what's happening? Right. what do yeah, you say yeah. Yeah, what i do don't you say? know i have no idea what he could make up no but right. maybe i fell off a motorcycle i don't know i got my head realistically he's, 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 they can still call the cops on him he can still get arrested and they put yeah, the well, hands on him <laughs> <laughs> The thing is, that's still a crime. That's attempted burglary. I mean, also, look, just, yeah. you ain't got to put me in this cup. Just the other one. I mean, <laughs> it's, gonna swell, it's gonna swell up. Like, yeah. Oh man, yo, no, not not for nothing. I'm not, this is a true story. When they locked up Chicken Wing, right? They had to handcuff him to his belt. Uh, is it on his pants? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they handcuffed the good pin, the good hand, the good hand, belt, the belt loop, belt, right? Belt, yep, the yeah, belt yeah, loop. Yeah, right, yeah. So that's what I do with a, with a broken arm right here with a belt loop. Then he would have, oh shit, realize he ain't got no hand. That would have been crazy, man. Oh my God. I think some other, or some other crazy shit here, man. Teen gets USB cable stuck in his penis in an attempt to measure the length of his Johnson. So this young man, I wish we had the picture of it. He had, this young man had taken a, a USB cord. Instead of like you measured it long like we all did when we were teenagers long time ago, he stuck it inside his penis and it got stuck. So he was doing it with a USB, so he was trying to charge his penis. <laughs> Pretty much. Yo, these kids are these kids are nuts. The future, the future's looking yeah, the future's not looking good. <laughs> and he put oh, it in, he put it inside his, 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 his I, wish I think we gotta give a award on the show. Right? That is one of the dumbest things that has happened wow. in human existence right there. Wow. Definitely. So what, did we have one week a kid try to wrap up his genitalia to not get somebody pregnant? He with, with glue. Oh, now we got about glue. That. This, genius, that. this genius got to go and take, because he can't get a ruler for whatever reason. Yeah, <laughs> whatever, reason whatever reason you got to keep the stats, you know, or whatever the case is. I, it, it's just the future is looking tough. It's, it's looking yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah. It's very bleak. It's very bleak in our community, man. I mean, hey, hey, I we got little Nas X. We got little Nas X. Technology is getting out of control. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker put it. I mean, out of all the shit you can make, like, what happened to the, you know what? You no, know our kids are dumb. They don't know how to use rulers anymore. No. Motherfucking ruler. Mm -mm. What happened to the old fool? I don't even know if a kid used to know what a ruler looked like. Think about it. Okay, look, look. They, they, you know this? I realize his parents and somebody's changing his narrative because that's not what he did that for. That was no measurement thing. He was doing something else. He yeah. had to be doing something else. That, that, it, it makes no sense. There's no way you're going to insert something in, in the head. It had to I don't see how you could do okay. that and not feel the, um, the discomfort, man. Like, Correct. how? Correct. Correct. What's going I mean, on? That's some type of dare challenge or just something. Just something was there. Yeah, yeah that's I agree. Kevin. Measurement thing. This better not agree. take over the uh, milk curry challenge. No, <laughs> better not. <laughs> better not. Better not. The thing is, too, like I, I, I agree with your point, Kelvin. You know, even as men, to see somebody else kicked in the freaking balls, exactly. you grimace and you didn't even get yeah. kicked in it. So to sit there and put something like that in you, I mean, you know, what normal man is going to sit there and be able to do that? If something was there. Something's a little bit more there than right, that. Right, exactly, yeah. exactly. So, yeah, there's something to that, you know. Yeah. His parents just want to say, listen, we got one of the dumbest children. <laughs> but we're going to try to protect them and do a little damage control. Yeah, we yeah. Even, we don't even like uh, teeth when we get fellatio. Oh, so my why God. Would I want to go. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Who on a cable? Like, I don't want teeth, you know? No, I love, I love that D feeling better. That's yeah, not yeah, like, yeah. That, I was worried. Yeah. Like, I was worried. Actually, yeah. actually I'm on Oxycontin. <laughs> <laughs> then you must be on Oxycontin every show then. Oh, man. <laughs> no, um, one of my dear friends makes me some edibles time to time. I'm not going to say any names. And, I, <laughs> and once in a while, I might come on the show a little... Allegedly, allegedly, man. Listen, it's time for commercial time, man. To pay the bills, man. Jamie, can you take us our next commercial?
Welcome back to Let's Chop It Up. Please follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Like and subscribe. Hit the bell. Make those comments. Show us some love. We need six more people, as my man Jamie says. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we trying to get to 500. That you got some cool brothers on here kicking it, having some fun, giving some inspiration, and also educating our people to some of the stuff that's going on with the latest topics. And also, we have some great guests that's educating people, too. So please like and subscribe, dear people. Jamie, man, we about to have some talk, a little conversation right here coming up, man. This sister said, there isn't enough good men for all of you out here. Jamie, can you play the video so we people get a little insight of what we're about to talk about? I saw a post that said, we need to stop lying to women and you all are not gonna find a good man. And that post is absolutely correct. And I'm gonna tell you why. The reason why all women are not gonna find a good man is because all women are not good people. And so why should all women be deserving of a quality partner if them themselves are not quality human beings? Now, this doesn't even mean that all good people find good people. But instead of you being concerned about finding a good partner, you should be more concerned about being a good person within yourself. And at that point, you can begin to attract the energy and the types of people that you deserve. Thoughts, brothers? Anybody want to take the first lead on this one? I think it's wonderful what she said. Um, here's the thing. You, 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 can't, you can't change the world around you. Because sometimes you can change. The only first thing you can change is yourself and how you see things, you know, and how... You know, you can't make other people do what you want them to do, but, you know, you can change yourself and maybe the perceptions of you, you know. So um, I think what she what she said is 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 right on point, you know. So, um, you know, become as if, you know, they have different variations of that, you know, be the change, you know, um, that you want to see, you know, that kind of thing. So um, I think what she did was, um, you know, just improve yourself, work on improving yourself, making sure that you become the person um who is attractive to others, you know, work on yourself, improve yourself, you know, make yourself happy, learn to make yourself happy, learn to smile sometimes, you know, um, that sort of thing, you know, make yourself happy. Nobody want to be with somebody else that doesn't, you know, that, that, you know, that's got a bad attitude. So, you know, I feel on that. You but, know? you know, you know, I think, Derek, I think it's, it's, it's actually subjective now. I think what I deem as a good man is not viewed it as that in this era. And so I think we've got to establish what this era considers a good man. When I, look at, when I look at you men, I see good men. That's my estimation. I look mm. at your families. You can They used to say, you can look at a man's wife and tell what type of man he is. You can look at his children and tell what type of man he is. And that's why I, all three of you gentlemen I see as good men. Now, you're not- Thank you, Gary. Well, thank you. You're, you're very well, and I, and I don't say that loosely. I, don't I know. Say that loosely. What's, so your cash, what's, your cash, what's your cash app for saying that? Somebody, <laughs> somebody today that's saying, I want him to be on Instagram. and I want him to walk around with his pants hanging down low. And I don't care if he has a job or not. I just, he got swag and he got this, that, and the third. And he's a scammer. He's to, to some people, it's subjective. And that's the problem. Because, Derek, when you say good man, you probably are saying the same thing I'm thinking. But now, if you ask somebody to define a good man, somebody that's, that's, probably between, you know, 35 and under or, you know, you know, 18 to 35, the answers you get are probably going to be frightening. Mm. I think there are a lot of good men out there, though. You know what I mean? I think a lot of these brothers out here are good men, you know, and I think that they're kind of getting passed over, you know, because, um, I don't know, like you said, maybe they don't fit a certain criteria. Right, because I think when you, you know? say they're yeah. good men, they're, you're saying it based on what you deem as a good man. Yeah, just you know, you know what I'm saying. Over. I don't know that they necessarily a lot of a lot of young women today. I don't know that they have an example for that anyway to look no, to see what a good man is. No, the y'all not to me for the y'all young chicks thinking if a man is spending, that's a good man. Not the time, not a quality. See what he's gonna be as a family man. Not that he's trying to build something. You don't say what can I, what can he do for me? It's, it's to, to them is what a good man is. Mm -hmm. You know what? I find that when people smile, it's not like people are mirrors. I always like to say that people are like mirrors. You know what I mean? When you smile at a person, they tend to smile back. You know what I mean? They want to smile back. You know, so um, if all you're getting around, if you're looking around and you're not seeing good mates, you know what I mean? Then you got to check how you're, you're carrying yourself in this world, you know? So that's that's kind of where I'm coming from with it. When I just say work on your improvement, you know, work on your self-improvement. 
you know? Yeah. You ain't mad about the yeah, statement. Yeah, ain't mad at a statement. Yeah, exactly. You know, no, I, I I I agree with a statement a hundred percent. Um yeah. I think Corny Simone, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think people have to fix themselves first before they can um, you know, find somebody that's compatible for them. And the other thing is too, you what you attract is what you are. You know what I'm saying? Right. So the thing is, if you conducting yourself a certain way, then you'll attract a certain type of person. If you conducting yourself in a negative way, you're going to attract a certain type of person. So, I mean, I think like, you know, I always looked at it like this. Like, I remember when I was dating and I and I looked at when I was, you know, looking for certain women, I would look how they how they carry themselves. And then as soon as they didn't carry themselves in a way that I think that it would be a good look for me and what I'm going to bring to the table, then I would, I would stop checking for them because they, I wasn't, it, I would lose interest because that's not what I'm looking for. You know what I mean? And I think that like I see on social media, women, you know, posing in, in, in inappropriate ways or whatever. That's a man that's looking to wife somebody. He don't want his wife doing that on social media. Nah, you know, he don't want his wife carrying herself like that, right. you know? So you, you, what you, the way you behave is what, what you're going to attract. And if you behave in a negative way, certain guys are going to come and they're going to treat you in a negative way, you know? But I do agree with what she's saying. Everybody's not going to get married. There's men that's not going to get married and and because they're not husband material. And there's women right. that's not going to get married because they're not wife material, Right. you know? And I think is, I think that when women ask me, oh, am I wife material? I think I'm wife material. Well, you don't determine that. The man that's going to marry you determines if you're wife material. Right. Yeah, yeah. And, and, yeah. A, and a lot of chicks, when they, they ask, you ask them, when they say, I, uh, um, I want a good man, say, what What do you consider a good man? And I, Correct. Are you, are you that person, what you're saying for that person? Like, are you are you at the same, like, when it, that Kelvin, you uh, equally yoked, right? That's equally yoked. Yeah. Are you yeah. ready? Correct. The stuff you're asking for, are you going to be equally yoked no. for that person? No, that's mm-hmm. not that's not a major consideration. That's mm-hmm. not, because, and because I, what, I see some of this stuff on YouTube and social media in the person, what do you want in a man? I want somebody that take care of me. I want somebody that this, that, and the third. And this and, and to be fair, I'm talking about people that are probably in their their, their late teens, early to mid twenties. Mm-hmm. That is standard. You know what I'm saying? Because there was a time when when a woman that was 22, 23, 24 was probably looking for her husband. And that time has passed. That's not today. That, that you you got people that are 30 plus that are look in the club still for the next 10, 15 years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so th- that's not what it is, you know, and I think what happens is when you have a discussion like this, people think you're trying to marginalize women. And that's that's mm-hmm. not that's not what I'm trying to do. What I'm saying is the reality of it is you have a lot of brokenness. And so I think people don't necessarily know. You got a lot of people that grow up today without fathers. So mm-hmm. you're asking them to try to assign a value of an image of something that they don't see. Correct. There's no reference point. There's no paternal reference point. So what you deem as a man is when you walk around and you look at videos or you look at men in pop culture and you see what they're doing. And so that you, if, if you're basing it on that, there's certain things I look at and saw my, saw my mother do as it related to raising my sister and I and, and being married to my father that I relate to, that I look for certain things in that. Well, if you don't have a reference point, where do you find it at? If you ask somebody to act out a role they've never seen played, how do they do it? Correct. Correct. Yeah. Correct. I think, yeah, it, right, right. It's like, you know, me and D, we, we were on a clubhouse page and, you know, and certain women were saying they're looking for a man. He's got to make this much. He's got to have this. He's got to have that. I didn't hear the word love, companionship. You know, being able to spend time together, grow as a, as a couple. None of that was being said. So to me, and, and some of these women that were saying that, they didn't make six figures themselves. So basically, you're looking for a come up. I think, the whole, looking, goddamn, I think the whole yeah. goddamn room didn't make six figures. They didn't. They, 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 <laughs> probably, I didn't want to say that. You said it. I didn't want to say it. Oh, God damn. You, you make it, you make it, you make it <laughs> 20 grand yourself, but you're asking, you're demanding that a man make six figures. Like most men that are making six figures, it's probably not going to F with you because they're going to be like, yo, this say the is. the word fuck, Rodney. God damn, we grown ass man. <laughs> Now you want to get him to get the scroll, right? That's, that's <laughs> all, yeah. I don't want to be alone. This that's all. My, this my you dude. you see that? We're trying to be misery loves company. You see that? <laughs> mm-hmm. No, but the thing is, like you know, D knows what I'm talking about because he was there, and most of these women didn't meet those criteria that they were asking for. It just was unrealistic. But like you said, Kelvin, most of these people are like in their twenties, 
you know, they're, to, they're the late teens or whatever. And to me, in that at the, in that age category, you shouldn't be getting married anyway in this day and time because you're right. You they don't know what marriage is. They haven't grown themselves. They haven't solidified themselves. So I'm, right, you know, yeah, around late thirties, early forties, that's when you should be trying to look in this day and time settle down. Right, right. I went on a date years ago. I was probably thirty years old. I'm sitting there telling a the girl about who I am or whatever. I led with I, I'm a homeowner and I have a master's degree. The girl said, have you ever shot a gun? Gun, yeah. That's I mean, you I'm said saying. that. Right? Like, yeah. no, you know what I'm yeah. saying? You know, and so, I mean, unless you thought I was Nas or somebody with that, I got myself a gun. Yo, but remember, <laughs> so, yeah. remember the chick told me to, on a date to call her a bitch? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah. So, but, you know, there's a few comments I want to get to, man. I think Simone had a comment. Jamie, can you play, bring it back real quick? Yeah, she said, women that carry themselves with class rarely get the time of day with many younger. Oh. When they're younger, yeah, that's I would agree with that. Yeah, that's Sean, there goes Sean's comment right there. Yeah, these young people don't understand growing together. Yeah, they want to start at the top. Yeah. To be fair, to be fair, young women coming up when they think they fly, the dude that is a nerd or or whatever, he gets no. I mean, I yeah. you know I said tell people yep. the worst time you can spend in high school is when you like in ninth grade because the tenth grade girls want the eleventh and twelfth graders and. They want the upperclassmen, whatever like that, and nobody wants you or whatever like that. And so, so the boys that's trying to do their thing or going to school or playing by the rules, they get like because they they lame, they corny, they whack, they whatever. And so that's it. I'm not talking about myself. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> well, we said on the show before the nerds are the bosses today. Oh, yeah, you know. Right. The thing is, then, why right, you right. were why you were dating and you were going crazy over the street dude and the bad boy. He's doing 18 years in jail, and that nerd right. is basically the probably the president of some company, or he's right. got a right. really good job because those those are the guys that make there the, the and now, the you wanna, now you want to try to now that you don't went out there and, and swerved off the road. Now you want this dude now to come and take yeah. a second look, and he's done yeah. with it. It, it. The thing is, I, I I always tell like you know I talk to my daughter, my oldest daughter. I say you look for a man with potent with, with potential. Don't look for somebody ready made. You look for somebody you can grow together with. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because if the guy's ready made, then me and Dino, you got options. Mad you got options. options. You got mad options. <laughs> so the thing well, is, well, that's a stage for, thing too. That's a that, yeah, that's, that's a, a stage thing. thing. You're but saying I'm, that as it relates to her age, where she's correct. at now. If somebody's forty or plus, they both should probably be established now. Correct. But I, get you, I get what you're saying. Yeah, you gotta you you gotta look for like I said if. If a woman, if I meet a woman and I ain't got myself together and she's fully developed, she's fully grown, she's where she wants to be in her career, she's getting money, she's got a house, whatever, I'm not going to be that appealing to her because she's looking, she's not looking for somebody she's, she's got to take care of. That's a dependent. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, here we go. People don't want to be selfless, compromise to build something beautiful. They think yeah. that getting marriage is the arrival instead of understanding it's the beginning of the journey. Uh huh. Well, I tell you yeah. one thing, history has shown in the black community that people that were married and built together went further than people that were single. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because the thing is, like, you're stronger together than you are apart. You know. Mm -hmm. so, and people um, and women also need to look at guys like, like you said before, like nerdy stuff, like laughing at the little silly jokes, accepting who, like, meeting them where they are, like, Okay, you like you like corny shit. I like like laughing at those kind of little things. Those things build relationships. Yeah. They want a lot of the girl told me the other day, no lie. Absolutely, Simone. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, she said female geeks and nerds aren't that popular either. Yeah, now I'm not saying that's the thing. The geeks and the nerds, or whatever you want to call it, the intellectuals, they weren't, you know, when they're younger, you know, and they were rising, they weren't popping, you yeah. know? Yeah, on both genders, you know, they just aren't popping, you know. Hopefully they yeah. find each other later. Yeah, you know? the thing the thing is um also, that you know, Rod, Rod, I know this one young lady. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mention. Don't say no names, D. Not saying names, man. I'm not gonna say names. But she said uh, that she got a good dude. This dude want uh, to buy a house. He don't have a house currently, but he's working mad overtime. Want to move it in? I'm saying doing all of, and he, and he's not just saying it. He's also doing the action. She said he don't have enough swag. Then he got upset. No lie. He gave her to get her nails done. He gave her sixty dollars instead of a hundred dollars, and it only cost sixty to get the nails done. I didn't understand what was the beef. 
And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm not seeing something. Your guys tell me. Maybe I'm, I'm not the one. Well, the thing is, what's, <laughs> I, how I look at it is like, okay, she said he has no swag. Okay, so that kind of tells me that she may not be a, fully attracted to him. Right. You know, and I'm not telling anybody to be with anybody that you're not attracted to because I believe in chemistry. You know, if the chemistry is strong, then guess what? Everything else is going to come easy. You just got to work a little bit of things out. All we got to do is put some iron on the fabric and get these wrinkles out and we're good. But but in some cases, you may not be able to get all the wrinkles out because sometimes people just differ too much. Mm -hmm. But to me, I take it as though she wants a certain type of guy and he's got to give her money and he's got to right. have swag. Like that's the that's the shit that's going to get you lonely with the cats in the house. Yeah, so Rod, well, this is what this is what I this is what I said. You don't want that swag guy. Like right now, me and Rod are older dude. You don't want the young me and Rod in these streets. No, you don't. I'm gonna run you <laughs> fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be, right. be honest with you. Like you know, I got daughters now, and I worry all the time about my karma for some of the things that I've done. Swag is subjective. You know what I'm saying? True that. But you know, the, these right. Like you don't. I mean. Like me and D been friends a long time, a long ago, time. Long, yeah, long, long time ago. Long, so you know, don't, say, you don't want to catch us. You don't want to catch us in our twenties. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> only got a currency in one community, just like street credibility. Only matters in one place. <laughs> no, what, it's, a white, it's a white boy swag. It's a, it's but, a but what, what, I'm, what, what I'm saying is this: so right now, and when we went out that day, what you see is this: you see a bunch of twenty and thirty something year old women who group together. They all hang out. Like like Derek alluded to, people celebrate their birthday for the whole month and their whole sign, all stuff like that. Now, once you too old to be on Instagram, and once you too old or whatever, and once you 40 something years old in the same club with 20 year olds and stuff like that, yeah. now when that time passed, that's all you built, that was all sustainable. Now, what, what do you think happened? So we're headed towards a, a era, and I'm gonna be honest with you, people need to understand this. There is, it's, it's not equal when it comes to women, women and men. Duke no, can be 70 even. and have a kid. Duke could be yeah. 70 and be rich and get somebody 35. That's right. that's it's that's not right. the same thing. It's just the reality. It's just it's unfair, but that's what it is. It's, it's a double standard. So yeah. what I'm saying is in, in, in five, 10 years, you're going to have a bunch of people that were fly at 30, that's going to be 40-something years old, and now the same people that wanted you because you was on Instagram, they just want somebody 20 years younger on Instagram. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh yeah. That's what it's about. That's yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Simone, Jamie, can you bring up Simone's last comments? And make sure she, made, she, yeah, she made a really, she had a really good comment. Um, she said I, she she got teased for being smart in school when I was growing up. Because of that, I thought about dumbing myself down in order to fit in. And that happens yeah. a lot. That happens a lot. And that it does. It does. My advice is to stay big. true. Yeah, yeah. Stay true to yourself. And I'm glad stay true to yourself, yeah. no matter yeah. what, because you're going to get the last laugh long term. Yep. Yep. And always play yeah. big. Always, always come. Always be in a room big. I was like. I always got to show up on my, nat you know, my natural self and everything. I and, and another thing, too, like, um, we we as people, we have to understand and pay attention to the circles that we keep. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're around a whole pe bunch of people that down you because you're smart, that's mm -hmm. not the circle you should be in. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? So right. you, you need to find people that are smart, intelligent like you. So you have you're like minded and. Like I say, it sometimes it leads to things. But if you with a group that you're trying to fit in with that ain't your group and you're the smartest person in the group, you should be smart enough to say, This ain't my group. I need to move on. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, I try to stay in smart groups myself, you know. Mm. But 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 you think about when you were in high school, when you were in high school, you know, the smart didn't have as much value as the swag or so the people that was popular and went in prom queen and homecoming queen and king or whatever like that weren't necessarily valedictorians or salutatorians. They were just people that were popular. Correct. So yeah. as a result, people go after that. That's what people see. And then the other thing is men a lot of times are visual, which impairs your judgment. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So men don't require women to have the same level of you know, success or whatever like that. Some guys just want somebody that can be on their arm that looks attractive, and they think that's part of their success, like having the car they want. Well, if you base a woman based on arm candy, there'll be consequences for that as well. No, no question. Yeah, but that's what I'm but, but I mean, when you when you think of the makeup of the, the average man, it, it's the Venus flytrap. No matter how many times you've seen it, you know. Then we just cover an NBA player, who, what paying two hundred thousand dollars a month or whatever for some Instagram yeah. model yeah, or whatever. Yeah. 
And and look, yeah, he's paying the consequences for that. He's Literally. paying the consequences. That's it. Right. Literally, he's paying the consequences. And, and, and I think D said he now with somebody else who's the exact same, just a different. Oh, a different so he don't idea. he don't get it. So he'll be paying another two hundred thousand. Yeah, right. And, right. Sean, and Shauna said it best. I know Jamie the comment. She said like, you know, we all. Yeah, there we go. But we were all young and dumb at some point. Yeah, that's, a, that's a big fact. But we try to school the no. youngies down, man. Correct. Correct. Young people, yeah. check us out. Show the young people th- this podcast, man, so we can school them now. Don't make the mistakes we did. Because I wasted a lot of money on hair weaves and nails. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> not, <laughs> not, not for yourself, right? No, no. I, 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 no. But listen, for how yeah, you got to clarify that now. You, gotta, you didn't clarify. I spent, he said, I spent a lot of money on yeah. hair weave and nails. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, nah, you gotta I, say, nah, you gotta clarify that. Nah, not for my own personal use. For there women, you go. For, for women and stuff like that. I, I, I don't said a lot of forty dollars, a lot of chicks over the years. So I just want to make sure <laughs> you know that I clarify that. But however, for Halloween, I am thinking about getting a hairpiece. If I'm asking you guys later on off camera, anybody want to get down with this? If we go to no. anybody, invite me to a Halloween party. No, you don't have to ask <laughs> me off camera. I can tell you right now. No, I ain't with it. <laughs> Yo, so we could no. go as an old hip hop group, man. No, no, really? I put a hat, I put a hat on, but I'm not putting on no hair piece. Oh, that's that mm. bullshit, man. I think you're my ride or die. <laughs> no, no, not with that case. <laughs> God damn. No so hair pieces, me... no dresses, none of that. Nah, I ain't fucking with no dresses. Yeah. You know, we can do a Steve Harvey. <laughs> do a Steve, Steve Harvey's ball now. Okay, we can do that. Yo, right. y'all can oh, rock kid and play. Do the kid and play joint. Hey, yo, <laughs> yo, Rob, we're gonna talk off camera, man. We're gonna talk off camera. We might have to do that shit. We gotta find a Halloween party this shit, though. It's not too many of them going on. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, a lot of shit. I hope a lot of people wear the masks. There's a lot of after people 2020, a lot of ugly back in the street. A lot of ugly back in the street. I work in East New York. There's a lot of ugly motherfuckers out there. Yeah, I'll go my man right here. My man. He got the PJs on. Yo, he really yeah, like yeah. a ghost with the big PJs yeah, on. Yeah. <laughs> my man got mad room in those PJs. Mad room. Word up, word up. Oh, man. He comfortable. He comfortable. He comfortable. He comfortable. He comfortable. Yeah, at least he coordinated. He's coordinated. Yeah, yeah. You know what I want to see so bad? I want him to come out one day and say to Derek, you ain't finished with that show yet. <laughs> what, what, what is going on? You guys are messing up my flow down here. Oh shit! Oh. That, that, that would be funny as hell if you did say. Yeah, something. we said some <laughs> words would be hilarious. He's like the little baby on the Simpsons. He never said a word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one on by just showing the scenes and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm <laughs> <Word up. laughs> Anyhow, man, we're gonna talk about some black stuff now, man. Some black stuff going on. Philadelphia to pay two million dollars to black women beaten by officers separated from toddler during uh, unrest in Philadelphia. So this lady was driving, which is a nurse's aide, I believe, getting off work early in the morning. I believe it's early in the morning, and she was driving, and she ran to this protest of this young brother named uh, what was his brother name? He was getting in Philadelphia. Golly, I can't see my name. Walter Wallace Jr. Walter Wallace Jr. for the protest of these cops, and he she make a three point turn. And the cops came and bashed the windows in. Took, uh, I think they she had did to go down to the precinct, and it separated her young Tyler and her ne- nephew from them for several hours. And it was mm-hmm. all misunderstanding. I mean, I mean, well, they say it's a misunderstanding. But Rodney, you probably know more on the story because you was in this line of work. I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna let you go first on this one, right? No, the thing is, um, if there was a protest going on, and she, uh, she said that she accidentally went down the street, and then basically realized she ran into a protest and tried to turn the car around and then that's when it came over and bust the windows out yelling at or whatever but why didn't you have the street blocked off where no cars could come down there Mm. and this would be avoided this that's what barricades are for Mm. good good you're right about that you know what i'm saying so this is this is clearly a problem with whoever set up the detail for the protest the sergeant got fired right the sergeant um, got fired yeah, there's a they 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 canned a couple of them, and because like I said, you you cost this you cost their city. This was in Philadelphia. They cost them two million dollars. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you ain't you're gonna be you're gonna be out of a job. Mm. But overzealous, and obviously, you know, if you if a car was able to get down a street during a protest, mm-hmm. then that means that street wasn't secure. It wasn't wasn't able for, you allow cars that came down there. Somebody dropped the ball, and that's the bottom line. Now, if she crashed through the barricades, that would that would be a different story. But that's not the case here. Mm. So, I can see why 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 she um she had a valid lawsuit. And then the other thing too, I think the mayor or the police commissioner they condemned their behavior. Mm. Yep, you're right. But once you see the mayor and the police commissioner going against you, it's, it's a, a rap. rap. It's, it's a rap. rap. Even yeah, if they got, even rap. if they got a Pat Lynch on their team, it's still a rap. 
Well, they, it doesn't matter. Pat Lynch can't save your job if they're gonna if they want to fire you. He can't save you that save your job. Oh, okay. So where's the union on that type? Of That's thing? what I'm saying. Yeah, the, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, they they're gonna fight for you. They're gonna provide um legal legal representation yeah. for you. Yeah. But if the job city and wants to fire you and they got grounds to fire you, you will be fired. Mm. That's it. Mm. You know, you gotta understand like. The union is more of a facade than anything. You know what I'm saying? They they pretend like they got your back and you know they, they're they gonna fight to the end for you. You I mean you know how many cops are on the unemployment line permanently and the union couldn't get them their jobs back? You know, it's just they, they have to represent you. You pay union dues. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's a sad situation, man. I'm just tired of it, man. Like you're right, it's just sloppy policing and I, I don't know what to say to it, right? Because like even with the the, the the, the Department of Corrections in New York is sloppy right now. But what's going on at Rikers Island? The, the mm -hmm. people are dying. The suicides are up. Like I don't know what's going on in law enforcement now. now. Like they, they, how you make a mistake? Like you, you obviously. I mean, I mean, you have years of experience, but you're absolutely right. When you think about the common sense of the protest, why was that street closed up? Why didn't you like street, you know, more people to join the protest and and cops? Because we saw what happened in Charlottesville when the guy came barreling through. Like, why didn't they, they, why didn't you have that? Correct. You have to block when you have people marching or protesting. You have to cut the traffic off in that area. You can't have people driving through that area. Mm, I see. So, like I said, obviously she did make a mistake, and then so did they. And well, then actually, she tried, she, correct, she tried to correct. And then she mistake. tried to correct it, and they flipped out on her. Yeah. Yeah, that's, and she's a nice young lady, man. They saw it. Like, if, you, if people get to see the video, check it out. And uh, you see, just Google it, and you see that this is a total like botched job by the police department. Yeah, well, I'm, yeah. I'm glad she's got some money for it. I just, I was just wondering because I hear so many cases of the police union doing this, that, and the third, and you know, and and um, protecting the police, you know, even like some really egregious cases. You know what I mean? Um, mm -hmm. and it seems that they're effective. I was just curious why were they ineffective in this in this situation? You know, if there was something else coming down the road, you know. But um, but I'm very happy that the sister got um got some got some form of financial justice on this though. Very very. Happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like I said, once the police commissioner, the mayor, they condemn you, you're out of there. Mm. Yeah, the rap, I'm glad. Well, in, in more in more lawsuits, a Michigan father files a one million dollar suit after the teacher cuts his biracial daughter's hair. And I think we have a little a video there. Jamie, go to the video for us, please. Mid Michigan dad that is now taking his daughter's school district to court. Jason Carr joins us now in the carport with the reason why. Good morning. He is suing for $1 million after his daughter's hair was cut at school by a staff member earlier this year. The suit was filed against Mount Pleasant Public Schools, a librarian and a teacher's assistant. It alleges the rights of seven-year-old Journey Hoffmeyer, who is biracial. Her rights were violated. But of the girl's long curls, the suit also claims racial discrimination and ethnic discrimination, as well as assault and battery. And the seven-year-old girl had asked a library employee for the haircut, but the father says staff should have picked up the phone before picking up the scissors. The girl's dad says her hair was cut twice at school in March. The district says it reprimanded three employees involved with the haircut. They kind of brush it off as an incident that kind of just happens. Well, it doesn't just kind of happen that a child goes to school and, um, uh, teaching staff uh, decides to cut her hair. The environment and the culture at Mount Pleasant School District obviously needs to change because there's no way that a school district in 2021 should think that cutting a minor child's hair at school is not a big deal. It's a huge deal. Huge deal. They cut that girl hair, man, look like a middle-aged old white man, too. That's messed up, man. Cut that girl. <laughs> but, but why? And why, why, why is it? A thing I, I sit in the white person's head sometimes. Why is your thing so uh, obsessed with hair of our people? I mean, even this little girl's a biracial girl, but why they love touching our hair, cutting our hair? What I, what's in the psyche of these motherfuckers? Yeah, I don't know, man. That's, that's and as a parent, like right, let me go with you guys, right? I'm gonna leave with y'all because I know what I would have did. You two guys are parents. What would you guys would have did first? Yeah, you well, always know what you would have did quick. No, no, million, I, I know, I know what I did. But one I, million what, is not nearly not, not, enough compensation for cutting that child's hair and keeping me from whooping that ass. Nah, all right, right. you know what I mean? Yeah, I've heard of teachers at daycare such as fixing the child's hair, not cutting. No, fixing is something different. <laughs> but cutting, listen, man, that's 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 beyond the pale. First of all, I don't hear all of that. Oh, well, she said she wanted her hair cut. She's a child, you know. The same, you know, the. the 
they but nobody knows the salon, nobody's home, a salon please. expert. You you first you gotta notify the, the parent. Hey, your daughter's exactly. going to haircut. She keeps getting exactly. her haircut. You tell exactly. her you write that in a note the next day. Say, sweetie, let me talk to your parent. You write in a note. You call you the parent. That's a, you yeah, you touch kids. That's a child. They don't know no better. You know, they want to, you know, they they don't know no better. You can't go by it. Yeah, please understand that ass whooping what popped up. <laughs> 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 yeah, no. <laughs> Listen, that would have been epic. <laughs> you know what I mean? That oh my god. You know, anybody who knows my wife, oh my god. Yeah, we'd uh, we have <laughs> bail money, we'd have a bail money ready for. Bail money. Nah, you, you know, you need a bail money for me too. Yeah, because, I, know um, I know that's right. They, they wouldn't. I mean, if that happened to any of my children, there wouldn't be a lawsuit. No, 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 no. Because, because the thing is, I would, I, I would be up there waiting in the parking lot. I would, I would actually be like premeditated about the shit. Yeah, yeah, word. I, word. I would lay for the teacher to come outside. I, yeah. I would be acting all calm. I shoot. They wouldn't even see it coming. But um, <laughs> and I'm gonna cut their hair too. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm gonna show up we with some to, clippers. We got better money. Because everybody, we cutting hair. We, everybody getting haircuts now. Since we cut yeah, hair. everybody, everybody <laughs> getting haircuts. I'll be out there with my clippers <laughs> and my drink. Yeah, we cutting hair. <laughs> Everybody's getting a haircut today. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't touch your cell phone now. No, don't exactly. call nobody now. Exactly. Yeah, I'll exactly. be like, I have my drape out in the parking lot, my clippers. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we gonna get oh, we gonna man. we're gonna take it back in the days. Everybody's getting a Caesar. <laughs> You're right, with, with a straight razor. With a straight <laughs> razor. You know what? I'm gonna tell you, I, I tell you something, and this is this is interesting. And I go I go to church, I go to different places. I don't touch people's kids. I don't no, no, you're not supposed to. Yeah. I don't I don't like little kids come up to me, whatever. I, I don't pick them up. Yeah, like in other words, you don't play when it comes to people's kids. Yeah, like, yeah, I don't yeah, understand yeah. what makes people think that that that's okay. My mother used to get on us for doing something to our own hair. Okay. Like yeah. when I was a kid, I'm playing around and I might have given myself a ball spot. I got in trouble for that. <laughs> yeah. So I can imagine somebody else. You know what I'm saying? And so at, at the end of the day, uh, I do think they're gonna get paid. I don't know how much they're gonna be paid, but I do think they are gonna get paid. And um, I think that's devastating to do that to the child because you you're making that child feel. First of all, this this anybody that would float the narrative that the child asked for that would be the stupidest narrative. That's that would make you guilty right there. What the child says she just want to go and walk with no no clothes on. What the yeah. child says she just want to eat you know ice cream for breakfast. But no, you don't let a child you know dictate. That's why we send them to school because you're supposed to have some sense as an educator. What if the child had told you to go in your pocketbook and give give right. them all your money? Would exactly. you have did that? Right. Yeah, you wouldn't have did that. Right. You know. So that, so that, that, then you want to use ridiculous. Right. But that's that's when they have no answer, so they got to create a talking point. You know what I mean? Yeah. But the thing is, you got to think of the mentality of a school aide or a teacher that would actually do that. You got to realize that's not a stable-minded person. So right. that would scare me even more that. I got my kids are going to a school where there's crazy people in the school. Right, exactly, exactly. And yeah. you do that you gotta, get, you gotta get your own. Gotta get your own. We gotta get our own schools. You can't let the, them keep raising our kids if the stuff like this happens. It, that yeah, is, it's the it, it, it gets happen every few months. White people in hair. I don't get it. What <laughs> I don't understand it. I mean, right? You told me a while ago, long time. I knew you was gonna say that. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. It is. It's very important to them. So it's very important to Ronnie to explain. To, I'm gonna let Ronnie tell the story, but Ronnie told me a long time ago it's very important to, him, especially with white men, when it comes to hair, and they think they think like all of us on here. Kelvin, you holding on to what little bit you have, a very bold. <laughs> how I get? How I get? <laughs> let it go. <laughs> just let That's it go. That's the light. That's the light, though. <laughs> <laughs> You know, so oh, oh Ronnie, go ahead tell, tell what you. No, nah, it's just that when I worked, when I worked at, when I worked at my job, like hair was like really big to the to the white to the white guys. Like them losing their hair was like one of their biggest fears. So, like in in our, um, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna in, go back to those comments. We're gonna let Ronnie for this. So we're gonna go back to those comments. Go back in to those the patrol comments. hat, they would actually there was a plastic piece in the patrol hat that you could actually stick a card in it or whatever. They would rip the plastic piece out because they believed that that plastic piece was making them bald. Wow. You know, what I mean? and then when you shaved your head, like if you were legitimately going bald and like I shaved my head, they would look at that as extreme. They were like, "Wow, you shaved your head." But two things that the white guys at work it was they were big on hair and commute. That's all they cared about. 
But they they didn't they didn't they they, they, did losing their hair was like was was huge. It was like this thing that they were just dreading. It was the end of the world for them. And tell them I think that we were so bold that we shaved our heads bald. Yeah, they were, that's what I'm saying. Like when we we shaved our head, they look at you like, "Yo, you shaved your head? Like, what were you thinking?" I, I was thinking I was going bald, dude. That's what, that's what I was. Thinking. And I'm I'm not gonna fight like you. What do you want me to get a toupee? What do, then you'll be laughing at me? I'm walking around in here with a toupee on. Yeah, hey, we gonna get those Steve Harvey's for Halloween. <laughs> you want to get the Steve Harvey for Halloween? I'm gonna be the I'm gonna be the ball Steve Harvey. <laughs> Yo, we could go like that. Yo. Before that, the Steve Harvey's. Jimmy, I'm, Jimmy I'm, Cinnabana. I'm a, I'm a, no, Jimmy you're gonna Cinnabana. be less brown. You less brown than he's Steve Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be, be Showtime with the Paulo, Paulo Steve Harvey with the, with the suit, with the long suits, <laughs> with the zoot suits. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Ronnie, baby. Uh, let me see what I've got. I'm sorry, remember my eyes? Something got in my eyes. I swear my eyes burning right now. You seem both over some words of advice for Shakari Richardson. I believe Sam, I'm paraphrasing, and, and anybody could correct me in this. Uh, he told her basically, like, yo, instead of focus on running, instead of being on, on talking junk, practice more and do that stuff and showing your work. And I think she should have shot back at him and said he should have said that, like, behind closed doors. I'm paraphrasing. If anybody want to correct me to what, he, what Zach said, please go ahead. Um, thoughts? Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I, think, I, I think what he said was less talking, more practicing or something like that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then she responded i think she said how come you didn't say it? you don't say it when you see me or whatever you tweeted it or something like that yep. i think that was the issue i'll be honest with you I, i'm gonna say this honestly and um mm -hmm. i wind up uh getting into a big discussion about this what, what, what yeah two, train more less train talk. More talk less yeah, yeah. I, I, I got into a discussion with this with two jamaican women that i know and, lord have mercy and i'm <laughs> and i'll say i'll say this him being Jamaican and making the comment to the American athlete who lost to Jamaicans was going to be probably considered to be maybe a little inflammatory. Like I could see now, now if Carl Lewis would have said it or something like that, because what he said was right. But what he said was obvious. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows that at this point, you don't sit there and get beat down and just sit there and talk crap. You know what I'm saying? And so I think the fact that, he probably is rooting for the people, obviously, from his country or whatever like that. It probably looks like, you know, whatever. Because what he said was obvious, which is what other people have said. I just wish this young lady had somebody in her corner who could reel her in. She has had a horrible year. She has had a horrible year. Everything has spiraled downward. And yes, she does need to go back to try to see if she can recapture the career that she started because she has not had a great career. She's won a couple of races. That's it. And to be honest with you, she's treading on that thing about possibly being a bust. She's treading on that one hit wonder territory because if you keep losing, eventually it's going to be like, okay, it's not a training issue. It's not whatever. You're more popular for this social media stuff than you are for winning. If mm -hmm. you don't have gold medals, and all mm -hmm. this stuff like that, you don't, you know, and she used to say she's the sixth fastest woman of all time, whatever like that. What have you done for me lately? And everybody else is passing by, and she hasn't just gotten beat. She's gotten beat like she was standing still. That and so true. as a result, what I would do is I wouldn't let anything come out of my camp anymore. I'd be very, very humble. I'd let everybody else do the talking. And then what you do is you <laughs> perform. You perform. You get back on that track and just see where it is. But right now, everything is bad. You say both. If I was were him, I would not have said that. I made that comment at this at this time because it's going to be thought of as adding fuel to the fire or just another log on the fire. You know what though? Here's the thing: when you you have to expect it when you carry yourself and you talk big like that. All right, people are going to come for you. People are going to say something. If she would have won, she would have got all the glory. Hey, I told you what I was going to do, and I went out and do it. So now you go out and you fall short. Guess what? People are going to remember what you said. You know what I mean? So now he gets to talk, and he says, listen, let's talk more training. You know? And he gets to talk. And, and yeah, it's obvious and all of that, but it is what it is at this point. You know, she can get angry about it, or she can use that as motivation. 
you know? Right, you know, but you're right. But what my, this was my point, and maybe I'm looking at it wrong. When she lines up against the Jamaican athletes, who do you think he's rooting for? Oh, he's rooting for the, the Jamaican. Jamaican. Right. Absolutely. So, so what are you encouraging her to do? Beat them? Yes. No, she, I, he's, no not he's, he's not he's encouraging, he's not no, encouraging no, her to no, beat no, them. No, 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 he no. Does, he probably doesn't want them listen, to beat her to beat them. So, listen, what, so when you're saying that, when you're saying that, it almost looks like it is just to be saying something in, in, in you know, the view of the public. And, 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 and here's the thing. Here's the thing. He doesn't have to care now. Because of how she carried herself and because of how she spoke, he doesn't have to care. He doesn't, he shouldn't feel, he doesn't feel as though he has to hide it or be classy or anything like this. He I don't think he even cared regard. I don't think he cared. In other words, I, I think the, he would the, the, the Jamaican people I know are very, very loyal to their flag, right. right? And right. so they all feel, and, and, and this girl got toasted by the Jamaican girl, right. and that yeah, was what it was. Right, so for the story, Jamaican athlete to come out as if he's giving words of yeah. advice or encouragement to somebody that he's clearly not in her corner, probably, it looks bad. That's what I'm I thinking. Don't, I don't think he was, I don't think that he was against her. And that's the difference. It's a, it's, there's, there's a difference between rooting for someone and rooting against another uh, right. person. I, think, I don't think I use the word against. I, I, right. if, if I did, I, I stand corrected because I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is it, it, it's almost like when you, you, you see a bunch of kids competing against your kid, you're like, good luck, everybody. You don't mean good luck for them to do better than your child. You just mean... <laughs> If, yeah, if I'm from New York and I'm watching an athlete from New York, I'm rooting from the guy from New York. You know what right. I mean? That's just, you know, but, that's just, but if the other guy from D.C. or whatever is talking trash and whatever, you know what I mean? And he opens that door, right? You just got to, you know, the door is open. You got to expect something's going to walk in there. You know what I yeah. mean? So, you know, yeah, that's my point. Yeah. So, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, the producer Jamie want to make us aware that we're saying, that he said that her comments in, it was shit talking in spite of Jamaica's the competitors to compete harder. And what I also, and then um, also he said that uh, Usain Bolt is uh, coming out with an album and, and excuses she's and people accusing him of trying to be, trying to be trend, start trending. So I guess he's gonna make the next hot. So, right, so that's, that's, that's my point. So at the, <laughs> at the end of the day, what I'm saying is where it looks like you, you are giving words of encouragement. Technically, you just are saying something and getting back out there. And everybody knows he's a story competitor. But yeah. my point is, at the end of the day, she knows this could have been said to her privately. Now, she got up there and did that press conference and didn't congratulate the winners the way she should have. And she didn't handle losing properly. Right. And she has made right. more news off the track than on it lately. You see what yeah. I'm saying? So as a result, the problem is you want to be in a position where you stop letting the noise come out of your camp. Every time she opens her mouth, something negative is happening and she's not winning. Track and field, like sports, is a results business. That's it. I don't care what type of sneaker you have. I don't care what type of endorsement you have. The results are, are you winning or are you losing? And as an individual sport, as much as it's a team sport, and you are getting beat in that lane by yourself. Yeah, and also, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna, Jamie, can you go with some of the comments? Let's go uh, start with Sean and work our way down. If his doping was allegations are true, so we'll start with that comment, Jamie. Yeah, so oh, I mean, yeah. it, it might, it might, might be something to that because they said the weed might mask some of the, 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 the doping stuff. So it might be something to that now because she getting she ain't losing by like, coming in second place. She getting smoked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? Um, I, I, I said something about Shakari that's, Richardson. That's true. That's true, Tim. Neither LeBron, LeBron, I mean, he, 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 he need a Maverick in his face. Yeah, I, I said something about Shakari Richardson mm. on a um a previous mm. show, and I I gave her a lot of credit because I did. I thought she, at the time I thought she was a phenom. I thought she was going to do very well or whatever. And unfortunately, I'm going to take all of that back today. Mm. Um, I am. I'm going to take it all back. The thing is, what I see in Shakari Richardson now is that she's she's reacts very emotionally, right? And she responds to everything, and sometimes things shouldn't be responded to unless you're going to use it for motivation. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't think, I don't think that um, um, Usain Bolt meant to like motivate her. I think he was kind of saying, in my opinion, that he's saying basically you need to shut your mouth because you're losing, and yeah. but you're, you're getting all this attention. Yeah. And he goes to show you how society's changing because 
we're giving the loser so much attention when those sisters that actually worked hard, raced, won, we're not even really talking about them. We're talking about the loser. And I got a problem with that in sports right. Right. because in competition, it's like what Calvin said, you win, then you win. That's what that, that gets you results. No, the thing is, right. is Usain Bolt won, I think, eight gold medals. Oh, I think he's he the fast, he yeah, fast, <laughs> fastest man in the world or whatever. I think he's worth like millions and millions of dollars. I mean, Usain Bolt can make these type of comments. He's he's basically proven who he oh, is. He you know what I'm saying? Him. Now, but the thing is, if Shikari Richardson continues to, to lose, I'm I'm going to say there was never much there in the first place. You know, and I and I really feel that way. Right, right. Yeah. Shut up, shut up. She shut has up. yet to prove herself. And the thing is, too, if you think true competitors like the Jamaican women that are sitting home seeing all this attention that Shikari Richardson was getting, if you're a true competitor, that's going to fuel you. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's going to fuel you, and mm -hmm. you're going to come out there, and I'm going to say I'm going to dust her to, to seize all this talking. She cannot behave in this way that she's been behaving. She has to um, display some sportsmanlike conduct. You know what I mean? And, and and I agree with Kelvin. She needs to be quiet now until she can win. Right. She's just, she just she threw away millions of yeah. dollars by she's losing born. these races. You know what it is? It hit got a target on a, a target on her back too, an athletic target on her back. They can't they can't afford to lose her anymore. A lot of people don't realize that she lost at LSU not long after getting there. All right, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, hey, 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 my thing with that is this is a, this is how America controls the media, right? Right, what you said, the beach making sisters get more light, right? Mm -hmm. But it goes back, like you said, losers shouldn't losers shouldn't get no press, get this big on press. It's a squeaky. It's always the old saying, squeaky will gets the oil, right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. That's, yeah. So, like, yeah. They, they just get the grease, right? So it's like these losers. Like, let's look Tim Tebow. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. These are, like these guys, these kind of people get this kind of press and they put on these pedestals. America controls that media outlet. The Jamaican team should have all these commercial endorsements. Maybe yes, they should. The, should be on the Wheaties box and all that kind of shit. You know, wait a minute. Wait, but that, that's all so far Jamaican athletes that are representing their country. That that yeah. I don't know that that resonates here. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, the Jamaican population is big in New York and certain major cities, but I don't know that the hey, Jamaican look, athletes should be featured. Lance like, Armstrong. I can keep on going. All the what about him? He, he, is Lance, was he American? No, oh, he is American, right? Oh, right. American. And Tim Tebow oh, won the no. national championship. The, 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 the tennis white the game. But it's listen, you're talking about Jamaican now, and Usain Bolt got a lot of light here. You know what I mean? So he did well here. You know, you know, what, 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 what I'm saying is this. This, this. this this, is my point. What happened was this girl came on the scene, and the girl was winning, right? The girl is not polished. The girl does not have any decorum. The girl doesn't have any yeah. etiquette training and all stuff like that. So we Correct. recognize that. So Correct. She, she handled it wrong, right? Sure. We, we yeah. get that. Yeah, she, yeah. Hand, she handled it wrong. But what I'm saying is at the end of the day, if you take a star from the opposition's team or the history of the opposition's team, it's going to be viewed differently. That's all I'm saying. He may genuinely be giving her good advice because it's sound advice. Sometimes we don't take the advice based on where it's coming from. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's you know, what I'm saying. And, that, and that's on her. And that's on her. It's not his job to make her take that advice. Yeah. You know she, what I mean? It doesn't matter what his. It doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter what his uh, intentions were. If the truth is the truth, it's always the truth. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter how you, you know, how you get it. You know. So he 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 turned around. He told her the truth, and she's got to accept it. She's got to put it in and, and put it in the practice. Well, I was saying so something. It depends, it depends on where the truth is coming from. I'll give you an example. To her, yeah, to her, to her, but the truth yeah, to a lot of people. I I give you an example. So let's say I very Not very. Not to them, yeah. So that's so, a robbery. So Derek, your 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 son being a kid or something like that. Let's say you're you're out there and you just giving them ice cream or something. And somebody comes by and say, I don't think you should give him that because this is a lot of sugar. What do you say? Mind your fucking business. business. Yeah, right. Now, business. now, now, a person comes why by. Why can't Ron get the scroll? Why if somebody comes by and sees you with your son and say, hey, I just want to let you know they got a sale down there on some, some brand new sneakers or something like that. Maybe good for your son. What do you say? I say, okay, uh, thank you. I might, I might check it go. out. So the two people said two things that might be true. It is how they present it and what... Basically, one thing you didn't want to hear, and one you did want to hear. So what I'm what saying is, the, the, what, what I'm what? saying is the truth. The truth 
In other words, it doesn't always matter if it's the truth. It's how a person perceives the information. All right, but what if Rodney and I are, are, are rivals? Like I'm saying, so it's like, and here's like the thing. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying, um, uh, Kelvin. I get what you're saying. I'm just saying it doesn't even freaking matter because of how she carried herself. Right, no, I agree. You know I agree. Listen, I'm saying it like this. She better come up with a win. Because I'm being honest with you. Oh. I don't think you can teach speed. I no, don't know that she can't. That no. Jamaican girl set records. I don't know yeah. that she can beat them girls. Kelvin, she, I, I'm, I'm telling you right now. You can't beat them. I am confident that she is not going to beat those girls. That's it. Confident that she is not, not going to beat those girls. You might not qualify three years from now for the gold. That's what I'm saying. See, in other words, that's why I'm saying all this work harder and be humble. Let me say something. You can work hard and be humble and face Michael Jordan, and you was going to lose. And Michael Jordan can talk about your wife and your family and, and motivate you, and you was going to lose. But here's the thing: we don't know what her maybe maybe her it's her mental state. I don't know what it is because everyone thought she was the greatest thing to slice bread yeah. for him, and whatever and she, it is she did, maybe that changed her or whatever. And well, so she we bought she bought into it, and I I remember, I, like I said, after I said on the show how great she was or whatever, right. I remember seeing a guy on um I think ESPN, and he ran it down when he produced the times of those Jamaican girls, and. Produced the times of Shikari Richardson. Shikari Richardson never had times even close to theirs. Mm. So the thing is, when you if you did your research on times and 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 the races, it was actually no comparison. And I wish I had that information before I made that statement about Shikari Richardson. Mm. But the Jamaican girls' numbers and numbers don't lie. They were blowing Shikari Richardson's numbers off the field. Yo, Jamaica is ascendant in track and field. Correct, correct. I, I, I kind of feel, I kind of feel that Shakari Richardson is going to be a bust. Like, like you said, Kelvin, she's going to be a bust. I, oh, that's going to be bad because guess what? She's going to be a bust and she's going to be broke because, she, like these said, she, she missed the window. She correct, missed her window. Correct. The thing is, he he gave her good advice, and I and she got she got emotional, and then she she clapped back. Because being sensitive and emotional, you're going to make bad decisions. And she this continues. Never, this never really needs to stop with the clap back thing. Sometimes huh? this, this whole clap back thing sometimes is, is overdone. It, yeah, I agree. You know, I totally agree. Sometimes you just you just need to take the L, and that's it. That's what I'm saying. Just take the L and be quiet. Yeah, right. let's, let's finish this out, brother. We got some more topics here. We want to make sure we get to because we we getting close to the to the late hour here. Little Nas X not pandering to kids or parents. I think Little Zion's ex basically saying he tried to use the Charles uh, Barkley thing. I yep. am not, um, um, what you call it? What Charles Barkley said? I'm not, um, I'm not, I'm a, not, role a, role not, a, not a role model. I'm I think, I think Little Zion's ex went past that. He went ask past my that. Question? Straight up, I'm not trying to be facetious or funny. Is Little Zion's ex an investor in this show? <laughs> like, I, just, I don't know. Like, does he, does he, I'm just, I'm just curious. Does he have an interest in this show? I'm telling you, if I hear about little Nas X again, I'm gonna take my own life. That's the first thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Listen, and that's why he does it, man. He that's why he does it. More that's than exactly why he does it. Yeah. It's not yeah. about talent. It's not about talent with him. It's about shock value. That's what it's about. You know what I'm saying? He just keeps doing things that's going to create some type of stir so that we will talk about him. And you're right. We need to maybe sit at the next meeting and decide if we're going to talk about little Nas X again on this show. Yeah, what did he yeah. say? Fuck them kids or fuck your kids or something he like said, that? Man. Fuck, he said, fuck your kids. That's yeah, what he yeah, said. Yeah, yeah. No, do we have the video? Do we have the video? I can't believe he would do something like that. Yeah, like, not little nonsense. <laughs> Especially since he probably mean it literally. Yeah, he said, he's coming. You say anything, here comes the mob. Yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, you got one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you got oh, Calvin, my one? brother. <laughs> oh, yeah, Calvin, you got one. Congratulations, Calvin. Thank you, brother. That's yeah, what it is. I'm not alone. I'm not alone, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to read what he saw. Uh, absolutely. Correct. Yeah. Correct. He coming. will read what he saw. It's coming. It's coming. When, when the industry's finished with him and he's not that hot no more, they will dispose yeah. of him. That's what's going to happen. Not even Barkley. Not even Barkley said that. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, huh? see, Nas X, no, he's never going to make a record that big again. No. no he's he, he he gonna have he's gonna have some probably some decent songs, but never. It's like it's like trying to well Michael Jackson he did he made Thriller he made joints that was close but you know Thriller was that album man 
So he's never going to get to a thrill level. We get close to it, but I don't. Little not think. Okay, look, I got to do. If I to be fair, I got to do what I just did to Derek. I know we didn't just mention Michael Jackson and Lil Nas X in the same time. I do. <laughs> no, 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 no. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. Excuse me. Right. Go ahead, go ahead. No, I'm saying I know we just yeah. keep I, say I thought he <laughs> said something about Thriller. I thought he mentioned no, no, Thriller. No, I'm saying <laughs> no. Michael Jackson had a big Thriller record. Remember how big Thriller was, right? And he, right, he yeah. made some good albums after that. Great albums after that. But nothing to Thriller. That's okay, can we no, use Bobby no, Brown as an example instead? Can we just say we know, you know, my prerogative, don't be cruel? <laughs> yeah, okay, let's use Bobby, let's use Bobby Brown. He won't, he won't have a don't be cruel type of album. <laughs> if Shauna's still on the show, Shauna was a big Bobby Brown fan. I'm going to bring that up anyway. <laughs> I love Bobby Brown. Oh, and they got, um, speaking of Bobby Brown, there's the kid from um, the Wu-Tang movie. He's going to be playing Bobby Brown next biopic with Whitney Houston. Right. Oh, see, now he said Lil Nas X is this generation's Madonna. I think he has a chance of having a long career, unfortunately. Okay, now I got to do what, what uh, whoever what he said was, whatever. I know we didn't just put Lil Nas X and Madonna. <laughs> oh, I'm a, I'm a, any, any yeah. I remember, I remember Shabbat. I remember Shabbat. So, but, um, yeah, but uh, now, Madonna, I mean, the country, the person, who, what's the name of the person again? Let me see the name of... Uh, what was said? What was said? Um, yeah. So little Nas X. I mean, I can see it. Like we said on the show, Madonna was to do a lot of controversial stuff. I don't think he has as much talent as Madonna, though. That's the only yeah. Thing that's and and, and listen, that's the sad talent. part. That and Madonna was not incredibly talented. Let's just yeah. let's just call it what it is. You know and, what I mean? And so I can say she Madonna and also Madonna got a different com complexion that make her last yeah. a little longer. Let's yeah, that's true. Yeah, you got to do that. And it's hip hop. And it's hip. And when you come to hip hop. After a while, in this generation, they're not as strong how we follow all our old artists from back in the day. We were just talking about Earth, Wind, and Fire. We love our old artists. This yeah. generation, you might get three, four, five year run if you if you super talented. You might over uh, the Drake or, or that, that, you know, it's, it's a good question. Who's going to be the holdovers? Who's going to be the the generational talents from this era? I don't uh, think there is one. No, I don't it's, see it's, any. It's, um, J Cole, he got a good following. Kendrick, but Maybe not the Drake. Look, Drake's Drake, going to have some Drake, hips. Drake, yeah. Drake, yeah, let, me, yeah, Drake. let me move on to the next topic there, though, for you guys. Wendy Williams tests positive for a breakthrough COVID case of uh, COVID-19. So I think Wendy Williams, this, I guess, I, I was confused. I thought before she was getting the vaccine. Did she get the vaccine? I'm not sure, guys. She got the vaccine. She got the vaccine. Because long yeah. before she was speaking out hard, hard against it. So, thoughts? Yeah, I, I was under the impression that she, she got the vaccine as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I understand. You know, I'm so, trying not to let the enemy. She's fully vaccinated. I'm, I'm trying, trying not to say something so bad. I'm, 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 I'm looking at the clock like just <laughs> yeah. a little bit more. No more commercials. Anything? I thought she was a stunt dummy for the test to see what happened. That's what happened to her face. Oh, maybe the shit might make her look like a more like a woman lately if she get it. I mean, I I just don't know. look like she was like she's. All you gotta do is put it up the, near the rim. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Once D saw that we wasn't gonna do it, he said, yeah, I'll do it. it. I, yeah. I just lobbed it. I lobbed it. <laughs> <laughs> she is not a pretty woman. No. She's not. I, I'm she serious. I don't know. Man. Wendy Williams, I mean, but anyway, thoughts on Wendy Williams. Man. Hey, <laughs> COVID can't kill no crackhead. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, for real. Yo, you ain't lying about that shit. Crackhead can go through everything. Crackhead can stab shotgun. <laughs> Derek, you got a few more minutes. Join us, Derek. You got a few more minutes. Right, yes, sir. Right up, man. Come on. Come on. You gotta oh, be by man. yourself. Man. You gotta be on the island by yourself tonight, Derek. Come on, <laughs> Come on Derek. Come on, jump in. You can do oh, it. Oh man, I can't do it, man. I ain't got that gear. Hey, something about boxing. <laughs> hey, about boxing. <laughs> 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 you gotta talk about boxing, right? <laughs> That's it. They don't the Derek White's gonna get this thing. Say yeah, I'm thinking that. Give his wife that shit, right? Give there. it to Derek's wife. He gotta get it. They got it. Oh, man. <laughs> give it, give it to Dirk White. She gonna, she gonna, she gonna, she gonna, she gonna sub in for him to get that damn banner. Right? <laughs> right. We're gonna, we gonna, we gonna call a timeout and then we're gonna bring his wife in to get that banner for him. Man. But I mean, I hope Wendy Williams, but I think she's back on TV, right? I'm not sure if these are repeats. I saw, I saw something today. I don't know if she's on TV. I have no idea if she's back or she's still sick. Oh, it's repeats. Jamie wow. just said it's repeats. Yeah, so I guess she's home sick with it, man. We wish her the best. 
you know, uh, hope COVID makes you look, I mean, hope you make you better. I mean, Ow. I mean, Ow, I mean Ow, hope you get better from COVID. Sorry, right, the devil's trying to use me tonight. The devil's trying to use me. Just hold, hold your mouth like I'm doing. Oh. <laughs> I can't, Ronnie, I can't. I mean, anyhow, Wendy, we wish you the best. Right? Damn yeah, it. absolutely, absolutely. Tremendous, <laughs> tremendous legacy. Yeah, what would yeah. gossip have been? What did the internet be without Wendy Williams? So, mm -hmm. yes. the well, when you base when you base your career on slandering people, yeah, you yeah. know, calm. Yeah. There is such she a used thing. To say whatever you do, oh, be the cool. best at it, and she yeah, was. But, she but was the world, the but the world, the world is round, and karma came back on that ass. It came mm -hmm. right back around. Yes, yep. so it, like, you know, and I mean, I wish her the best through a divorce and everything like that. And I wish the best for her son. You know, her son was going through a lot with that whole, with everything. What that son must have witnessed in the house. I feel bad oh, for you, brother. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. I really feel bad for that, brother. I wish the young man a healthy recovery from what he's gone through before. Um, ja Rule, right? That's what we had, Jamie. Ja Rule resurrects his career with his verses against Fat Joe. People didn't see last week. Ja Rule and Fat Joe went at it for the best of the uh, best 20 songs and verses. I thought it was very entertaining. I think Ja Rule is, re re I think verses actually helped his career out now, opened up to a whole bunch of the generation that know about his hits. To see that the brothers still in good shape, it was entertaining him. In fact, Joe, I loved it. I was th thoroughly entertained. It wasn't my best verses, but it was very good to me. I didn't think it was a match before it happened, but it looked like they worked it out. Right. I agree too. I didn't yeah. think that. Um, I don't think Fat Joe had a chance to begin with. Yeah, you know, like I say, you know, we know that Fifty Cent, um, hurt Ja Rule's career and all and all that. But the bottom line is, when you look at his catalog, Ja Rule has a solid catalog. Very He's got solid. a solid catalog. Very catalog. Solid. You know, there was a lot of hits during Ja Rule's time, you know? Yeah. And the thing is, too, when you when you watch the verses, you um it, it reminds you of yeah. actually how many hits he actually has. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ja Rule's ja always on the grind. I sent him a commercial yep. and all kinds and of And to be honest with you, to be fair, you take away Get Rich or Die Trying, I think Ja Rule may have had a, a better music career than 50 Cent. I agree. Well, no, but you can't I take stuff back. away. You, I got to think about features. I got to think about no, features. No, the reason I got to say that, mix, the reason I have to say that, and mix that mix because, in other words, his whole thing is based on Get Rich or Die Trying. That's the classic Dr. Dre album that he did. That's a classic album. Outside of that, he's gone down every single album. Yeah, really and I know he set the bar high, the but, thing, but he's yeah. never considered a great MC. Yeah, the thing, the thing is, 20. Calvin, no I, I don't but think anybody... Rule, though. Is rule. Yeah. I don't think anybody would think that you could top Get Rich or Die Trying. I think the, the anticipation for that album was tremendous. You know what I mean? This guy sold mixtapes. Everybody was waiting for him to come out. I think the only closest um, anticipated album was like Snoop Dogg's album, too. But, um, yeah, Get Rich or Die Trying... You gotta give Fifty Cent a lot of credit for that. That, that, that oh, no was question. A no question. Yeah, it was a no question. But to me, that's it. To me, that's the catalog. Yeah. So, but um, there's another thing though. I think Versus helped out a lot of rappers that we didn't see no more, like Cameron. Cameron is its internet following got bigger. Uh, people want to go see this mm -hmm. concert. I think. Oh Cameron, yeah, it's definitely a win. It's his yeah. win. Him, him losing, he made a lot of fun of a lot of fun of himself. It seems like Cameron has grown up a little bit. Anybody and it's bringing hip hop back. It's bringing at least yeah. lyricism back. At least yeah. some some people that can see it now that you actually can get up there and have lyrics and and you know without just a bunch of singing and hooks. I mean, yeah. You know. mm -hmm. The the locks are the locks are touring again. You know what I'm saying? That's a result of anniversary. They yeah, they're but, on fire. You know, yeah, with Dipset and with um State Property. Yeah, but I don't. I wouldn't want to see State Property. <laughs> I was coming to show late, coming late. Like they say, show started seven. Me and Rob rolling at like eight thirty. <laughs> <laughs> All that shenanigans shit could go away. I don't see nothing. Oh, and, I was, and, and Shanti, and Shanti was good to see her too. She's doing well. Oh, Shanti got better with age. We, we yeah. got to do a show on the on the artists that got better with age. Cause I thought Rihanna had the. <laughs> yes, it is right. <laughs> that is. <laughs> Word, Word, that's what Fat Joe said. That's the best quote of twenty twenty one. Yesterday's price is not today's price. That's yeah. the best quote. Or they all, I mean, Ja Rule had some that, that that thing what he did with the party on the island. He was doing some crazy wild shit, but now he's back. People love Ja Rule. So yeah, that, 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 that hurt him too. Ja Rule. Mm -hmm. All he does, he does what he does. That's it. That's yeah. what he does. 
Every thought be laid in. I be like that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, actually, that's one of my favorite joints he's ever done. Yeah, yeah, right, that's, yeah, what he does. that's his thing. Yeah. You know, but, but this was a good show tonight, brothers, man. I love you guys, man. Please, people, follow, like us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Kelvin, get home, get some rest. Rodney, you got too much rest. Give share Kelvin some rest. Give Kelvin some rest. I was a rest and shit like that, man. But I love you, brothers, man. Peace, peace, and peace.